Ha <laughs> ha! Look, guys, I am one minute early. One minute early. Well, 30 seconds early after I changed the time because I was like, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it for 10. And now I have to turn this on. How are you guys doing tonight, though? We are getting eer eerily near to Heather's due date. Uh, her due date is the 15th. It is the 9th. So it's like literally we're less than a week away. Scary times, scary times. I guess I don't need this up right this second. Um, but I hope that you guys had a great week. I am so happy the weekend's here, to be honest. Um, maybe Heather will have the baby this weekend. And then uh, if it happens, we can catch it while it's happening. Because uh, if it's during the week, I'll be at work. Unless it's an evening baby. But who knows? But hello, Sandy. Hello, Holly Lynn. Hello, Cheryl and Ryan and Nicole. I hope you guys are all having a great night. Kelly, uh, great Ciela, Rome Picks. Um, we got GoPro Solo Coco. How you doing? Um, got everyone here. Everyone's here. Oh, God, there's only 78 people. All right. So we'll just get into it. This is what is on the table tonight. This is the agenda. Um, I got the stories for Instagram. Uh, then she did she did do a TikTok live. It was like an hour long. I already covered that, though, I think two or three days ago. So if you want to watch that, it's on the lives uh, thing. Um, it's also in the Haunting Heather playlist, so you can watch that. So I won't be covering that one. Uh, but we will be watching all of her stories. And then she did like a bunch, like five Instagram lives in a row. So I have those pieced together for BCG. Um, and I cut out a little bit more of dead air. So they run smoothly. And then she topped it all off with, a, what was it? A Facebook live. Which we don't get one of those very often. And that one was about, I think, 40 minutes. I think all to you. Yeah, they're really looking at about like an hour and a half ish. Um, so it should be it should be like a, a good two hour stream. Um, we'll take a smoke break in between. I forgot to get animal video, so I might have to do that in between. But here is uh, the stories from this week. I always wonder how many people like tax paying regular like employed people or even entrepreneurs. Just how entrepreneurs are regular people paying taxes too what how many people see my story and know me or don't know me either way and think to themselves how the fuck is this still going on does she really think entrepreneurs don't pay taxes four years later like where are we all living like how well you're living in chicago all the time how you guys, if you have not seen the, the newest photo shoot that we did literally with less than $10 of a budget. Um, I want to see this photo shoot for $10 because you were asking for like $100 for tinfoil or leaves. In under an hour and I curated it and then wrote a little song to go along with the vibe. Um, and this is what I call a storyboard. Is what you call a storyboard, or this is a storyboard? She wrote the song, though. She wrote the song. Yeah, the Pokeball tent. I love the Pokeball tent. The Pokeball Canada tent. I seen someone say BCG. I see you guys. I don't see her. I was trying to be like, oh, there we go. There we go. Hello, BCG. How you doing tonight? Um, I didn't know she wrote a song. That's news to me. Okay, so check it out. I just posted a couple of the behind the scenes. Um nothing is edited nothing is put into its final format but it's the um the photo shoot that i just posted go to my gopro solo account and check it out i'll tag it right here i haven't figured out if i'm calling it of the earth on the moon oh it's just the the tinfoil moon thing so the tinfoil costs ten dollars dollar a combination of those two um the inspiration part partially came from an incubus song called stellar um that yeah, never mind we already know what this is when i was she excited me in captivity uh they would we would be allowed to sing and this one girl would always sing this song every week this would be her song um check it out 
Hi, you guys. Okay, so I just want to post an example. I'm going to upload this little screen recording that I just created. I was intrigued until that she already went on about that either at the end of last week or it was during her crazy TikTok live, I think. Um, but yeah, no, nah, we already seen that. I was in one of the lives I did. This is what my algorithms look like when I start losing my shit. So I start literally crying and just sitting here silent, thinking of all the different things that I have done that I should or could be doing more of, um, all the jobs I've applied to, all of the agencies I've called for help, all of the ways that I've documented and reported being assaulted, sexually assaulted, robbed, everything that I've proved. And Yeah, you just relive all your past trauma every day and then you talk about it for the internet and i don't know you don't come with any any solutions we need solutions how it's humanly possible that i could still be being ignored after four years of documenting this and reporting it right so i get to the point where i have come up with every reasonable solution i'm on month 12 in a tent in downtown chicago the how like i'm literally because you keep sitting in the tent just doing this that's why if you don't leave the tent and move on to bigger better things then you're gonna stay in the tent forever it's pretty simple if you think about it really we living in a tent downtown chicago capable be love your father i can't believe i'm still living in this place guys i can't believe it i can't believe it some days but i it, it's because i just i'll move i gotta move you know uh, so that, uh, she, she cut the up, abrupt cut like she usually does. Um, I don't know what this is. Hand it over to God. Battle. Trust in God. Give the battle to God. Major change in your favor or unfolding, etc. and so forth. I don't know if this is just like is her Pinterest feed. Is her Instagram feed. I don't know what the point is to this. She's just showing us. Oh, I guess her algorithm. She was like, my algorithm's crazy. Look at my algorithm. Like, yeah, okay. What are you going to say about it? It's like, literally people know what's going on. And I've already contacted several hundred lawyer groups. Um, I contact every person here on social. We have reach of over 17,000 accounts in the last 30 days. And this is a four year ongoing process. I have never stopped reporting on this from the one Heather GEE account to the HLG forever underscore account to the mercifulstorm.com account. Anytime they have frozen any one of my accounts for any reason, I just keep creating a new one and keep on recording and documenting. She's gonna get more creative with it. You need to like, talk or do something that's going to get people's attention and then you could slip in all this crazy shit you want people to pay attention to that obviously if 17,000 people are listening to you and none of them are helping you then you gotta switch things up a bit I mean that's how they get bills passed that they you know, slip it in with something else you know so you gotta do Heather you gotta think smart nothing has been forgotten it's on a live feed that law enforcement came to take a semen covered sheet after I reported being raped and having my apartment robbed and broken into. And they just laughed in my face. That is live. When am I going to get the justice I deserve? I have three children, one on the way. This is, I mean, enough has been enough. And enough is enough. Just for the record, just because I don't upload proof every day doesn't mean that I'm not i thought i thought this was all the proof uh dj thank you for becoming a member also i think someone else someone else became a member too rachel thank you for becoming a member as well um yeah i think i put there's a link there's a link in the description because apparently iphones don't have uh a, an option to which is weird which is weird iphone get your shit together so just a bunch of unknown number calls you're showing us so I'm now hearing in my news feed, and this might be why um, over the summer, you guys remember someone pooped in Xavier's chancla. Yeah, yeah, we remember that. These are some crazy sunglasses, though. These are like, um, I don't know what to call these sunglasses. The Elton John sunglasses? Do I know who Elton John is? Outside of the Ritz-Carlton. Probably Lady Gaga glasses more. 
I know. I could, like, it's ridiculous. But they're also saying that they were looking for my urine because. This is the this is the urine thing that I was talking about in the other video. So I don't know why she thinks this. Maybe she gets into it. So apparently they're well, the why is they're stealing her urine to show that they're pregnant when they're not pregnant because it has a certain hormone. But why would anyone want to do this? I have no idea. Because they were blackmailing rich guys and oh, the blackmail rich guys gotcha making positive pregnancy tests not for me with other women using my urine but if you guys are still crowding around here waiting to seal my urine um it's a waste of time because hcg stops at a certain level and you won't until i think it's about six or seven months to nine months um you won't test positive for pregnancy with urinalysis anymore you would need to have blood work um, but by that time, most women have already confirmed pregnancy with ultrasound. So if you're trying to steal my nine month pregnant urine, um, it might work. There might. I don't think anyone's trying to steal Heather's urine. Like there's probably easier pregnant women to get urine from as weird of it. I never thought that w those words would come out of my mouth, but yeah, there's easier pregnant women to get urine from than Heather Gillespie, a crazy woman living in a tent in Chicago. And then she's showing us Google stuff. Um, showing us she's right. So yeah, you could still have trace amounts, especially depending on if you're like a big water drinker or if you don't eat or drink a lot. If you don't, if you have sedimentary levels of activity, things stick around longer in your body. I've been very active always. So you guys know before 29 weeks is about when I started having um, contractions, 29 to 32. And I was still walking like 10 blocks a day. Um, holes in her chart. But um, yeah, I don't think the HCG is going to work for me anymore. And my baby is due February 15th. I'm hoping for a Valentine's Day baby. This is such a, like, a fucking chaotic thing. Like, what is this? A real story? I remember there's poles on the tent. People are trying to steal my urine. It's not going to work, though. So don't even try it. Don't even try it. I want a Valentine's Day baby. Like, this is just... Oh, it's Heather. Yeah. And, um... Yeah. Just because you don't see anything happening doesn't mean God isn't working. This is Xavier wearing some crazy tight pants. And maybe the bar face is because he's wearing the very tight pants. I don't know. I actually I think it's because there's they don't like alcohol. So you guys know that we come here to Mariano's daily. Look what they have. Truly as a hard liquor. And white cloth. Get out of town. And look what it's right next to. Oh. So a bunch of alcohol, right? Or I don't know what truly is. Is truly an alcohol? But I know White Claw and Everclear is. So what the... Why is she so off put by this? 39 weeks. Yeah, almost, Heather. I mean, it says 38 weeks down here. Is it 39 weeks or is it 38 weeks? I mean, I don't... How am I... Heather should be keeping track of this. We shouldn't have to keep track of it. I mean, 38. Okay. 38 weeks. So listen to country music in a grocery store washroom. Filming Instagram stories. 38 weeks pregnant. Okay, so it is 38. I think you just misspoke with the 39. The most miserable pregnancy ever. Ever. Like, what the fuck? Being positive for like one moment takes a lot of work. I could imagine you're homeless. Why did... Did she think like becoming pregnant would solve her issues or did she think like being homeless and pregnant wasn't going to be that hard? She was already pregnant and homeless. So you think like just based off the first time, she'd be like, I don't want to do this again. You know, if she can get enough money for a hundred dollar photo shoot 
or um, just nonsense. She could she could have got an abortion. She, she could have. Um, the baby is very active, so you know I know he's okay. Um, but my God, none of my other children had to go through anything like this. Like the intentional scaring me and waking me up with a fucking mouse inside of this tiny ass tent. Like, Oh yeah. The mouse. There's a, there's a mouse. This is a big story arc about the mouse. Um, she's convinced there's a mouse like out together. Shows us the hole in the tent. At least she did on the TikTok live. She'll probably show it in the stories as well. I'm assuming. Uh, if not, then we'll go to that TikTok live and I'll show you just the hole for you. Uh, this mouse is very nefarious. Like, that's terrifying for me. And those are like the very, very mild forms of torture that they've done. Um, as I said before, sleep deprivation, food deprivation, um, assault. And I think, too, it's it's the mind fuckery of when you start to get comfortable, no matter what circumstances you're in. Meaning you can make it work. You can go to a hotel and be okay. You could go to an Airbnb and be okay. You could even spend one night in a tent and be okay, right? As long as you're on drugs, you could be okay anywhere, sure. But for 39 weeks, 38 weeks, and it's more than that, we're going into month 12, February 13th. It'll be a full year since I've had uh, a decent night's sleep in a bed. Same for Xavier. Um, and I never really thought, you know, that this was possible. I know that the laws are that you can't leave people outside uh, throughout the winter. I know that taxpayers pay money for programs. No, it's called it's America, and you live in America. You can do whatever the fuck you want, and we're not supposed to babysit you. We're not. Um, there is resources. You don't want them. You want to have your fucking family resources or whatever, so you're like, we'll make a baby in the tent, and then they'll let us do the family resources and says single people resources. Because you don't want to separate. You don't want to be in individual shelters throughout the night. I've called every single one. So it just keeps on perplexing me. Um, you know, how is this legal? How is this continuing? I've not had a single pedicure or manicure this entire pregnancy. Not even one. She gets one. She ends up getting one. But yeah, you know, it's like. Oh, 11, 11. That's a fancy number. You guys should make a wish the xavier rubbing my feet rubbing my back literally treating me like a queen of this is all xavier has to do to treat her like a queen it's like i want to worship mommy and then rub her feet and back and then she's like ah xavier's the best he's gonna save me i fell asleep one night beside him and all my stuff wasn't stolen and then all these other nights i sleep beside him my stuff gets stolen and then i don't know mysteriously shows back up all my socks are still remember when her socks kept getting stolen her makeup gets stolen maybe xavier is just stealing all these things maybe xavier is the problem of the world doing any and everything for me i don't even ask it's like i think something i don't even have a full thought and boom he's there except the apartment right a stable living situation like if i think god i wish that he was holding me it's cold before I even blink, he's like, he's like Astro projected himself across the room onto my back and like is holding me. And I feel like I have like an insulated heater. And that's the type of concierge. So he like pounces on you? There's love service that I get from my husband. And then they do this weird shit where they change everything up with him. And I was quoting Xavier. That's what Xavier was saying. Um, why are my things not highlighted? There, there we go. Yeah, that's I. I wasn't like just saying that for fun. Do these internet campaigns, smear campaigns, and all of this shit that I've already far graduated from? Like that was so nineteen. I mean, two thousand nineteen. You know, let's move on. And then, like with the mouse, like it doesn't even feel real. It doesn't. The mouse doesn't feel real, guys. Feels like some sort of virtual, like asshole world. It's like, how many, how many assholes can we find who are creative at making things um, hurt for a pregnant woman? Like, that's truly what it feels like. Like, they put... That was, the mouse has nothing to do with any of that. What was the mouse even doing in that tent? 
Nothing in that tent for a mouse. In these positions where... Well, it's probably cold, to be honest. It's like I literally lose feeling of my limbs. They know I hate the cold, so they'll, like, throw all, all of this stuff in my newsfeed about cryotherapy in ice baths. Bro, especially in someone who is high risk for blood clots, you don't put them in an ice bath. What the fuck? So, well, it's just a popular thing that's trending. It's to do with all the motivational crap, you know? So, you know, get motivated. Get all energized for the day. Take an ice bath. It's just, it's insanity. It makes no sense. And then, like, everything I talk about goes in the newsfeed. If I talk about drug rep sales, they put a fucking Pfizer ad. <laughs> it's insane. Or they put a reel from someone who's a Pfizer sales rep, like, dogging on Pfizer. But then they say stuff like, oh, you have to be positive, right? So for me, I'm not sitting here toxically positive, like, oh, this is awesome. I love this. What a great experience. That is phony as fuck. For me, being positive is not giving up on the job search, sending 40 to 100 jo um, you know, job applications and resumes. But, okay, people were telling me that she was applying to be a lawyer and other various things that she's not qualified for at all. I don't know why the fuck she would be applying for that. So that also, don't you need an address to workplaces? Like she's talking about working remote. She doesn't even have Wi-Fi. Xavier's dad cut off the phone and like they didn't know what to do. They were like floundering like fish. They weren't even grateful when they got sponsored. The sponsors came and they weren't even grateful for them. They're just like, ah, oh, thank God. Finally. It's amazing out every day, continuing on. And social media documenting even though sometimes it feels like the things that are happening are so unjust and so unlawful that if the police cared they would already be here you know but not giving up on that you will yell for every policeman to leave you alone and go away and everything you harass police officers what are you talking about the police cared they'd already be here remember the one cop that came over to the tent and she's like screamed at him um about the narrative and i was like wouldn't even take the narrative la, 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 la. maybe I just let let her be alone because she's too crazy um circulating content that's anything other than me crying you know Develop still being creative content. still um listening to audiobooks or reading or crocheting or you know doing whatever i can creating content and coming up with campaigns you can't it's it's not easy to do that you know so that's being positive for me that's in my perspective positivity gotta have the daily uh washroom videos you know gotta vicky how you doing um i don't know that's so a vice president for development of a tech company that that shooting for the stars, baby. But yeah, no, they also wouldn't um, approve her for remote. She can't even like do a video without Xavier making some noise in the background. She's like, can you smoke your weed quieter? Imagine her like working a call center or something. I don't know what other kind of job you have to do remote, but way too many distractions in a tent. Especially Heather's tent. 38 weeks, four days. Misery loves company. Um, just a reminder, she was literally offered a remote office work job in November and blocked the woman. She just refuses to work. Yeah, what the hell? I didn't even know that. I don't if I did know that, I forgot. That's insane. Uh, but this thing, oh, this is a Gary V quote. We don't need to read a Gary V quote. I just saying misery loves company. Uh, you didn't become selfish. You became harder to manipulate. Eh, I mean, if Xavier can manipulate you, that's like a pretty low bar. We've seen Xavier, right? Um, just don't confuse the two. As soon as you wake up, you become a liability. Unless they can prove you're crazy, then you are the asset. Especially if you're smart. What is this? What kind of fucking gobby gobby goob is this? What the fuck? Look at these eyes. That's Bill Gates, I think, with like parasites coming out of his eyes or something. What is happening? Bill Gates says AI is the biggest productivity advance in our lifetime. That's awesome for him to say. 
The world will be richer, work less, and have more. All right. These are Heather's. All right, you guys, for an update, this is Heather. Um, you guys might follow my personal blog, colpa.chanel.ysl. I usually do FTRs daily for legal purposes. Um, but I Yeah, that's all for legal purposes, not sympathy purposes for money. I have not been able to do so lately. So to catch you guys up in real life, I have been producing from a tent for a year. Um, prior to this, I always had income set money um set money but what kind of sets were she was she working on i used a lot of my own space my living space as a studio um and i had a lot of collaborators so this last four years has been incredibly challenging for business um i have you know made some business moves with with regards to direct to consumer sales um not employing a big staff typically just working myself with you know one or two other people um i am 38 weeks pregnant and still confused about how i that's a nice fancy way to say i did basically like cam work and only fan shit continue to be sexually assaulted and robbed uh, although i filed numerous police reports i don't i kind of feel like an asshole but can i ask what the hell these new sexual assaults are do we not just get, we don't get to know that, I guess. We don't get any evidence, all the evidence. Because I've seen like the one she threw at the cop and wouldn't answer the questions for. Her. But then supposedly there's all this other stuff happening in real time that she's not going to talk about. She just, take my word for it, it happened, bro. I don't want 38 weeks, five days. And it wasn't Xavier yet today you guys no updates at all um same plan xavier's father promises a hotel by the week until he gets us an apartment once the baby's born and the city of chicago promises um that we will fit into family placement xavier i and the baby as soon as the baby is born so february 15th is the due date and we are i think this is a like the la 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 i forgot about this song this is an old song that's playing in the washroom of Mariana's. Are literally just holding on for dear life until then. Um, there has been some weird stuff going on the last two days. Weird people, very creepy people who I've noticed following us before that we have on camera coming back to the space where we are um, at 24 hours a day going in. 24 hours a day. Who are these people? There's people stalking them in real life. The garbage cans doing really weird shit. So 38 weeks, five days. <laughs> Do you think there's people who want Heather's trash? Or do you think these are just trash men? Like, employed by the city of Chicago to pick up the trash. Um, that is a big baby bump. That is fucking huge. Thursday, we're going to pick up the travel system. And it could literally be any time after that. Oh, and today's February 7th, I believe. February 7th. I mean... It depends how long, like if I worked at Mariana's and she just came in, even for an hour, if she came in just for an hour a day, I'd be like, ah, it's Heather. Uh, let's see Heather. It's a nice, um, I don't know, change to the norm, you could say. Uh, she's pretty crazy, but like, I don't I have to bring her home with me or anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? So just for an hour a day, I think we watch more than an hour a day at Heather. Well, Maybe not a day, but like yeah, on Fridays, definitely. So we're getting stuff for ham sandwiches. Just for anyone who's new here, I know most of you have been here for a long time. I Just in case you're new here, I'm Heather Gillespie. And I'm going to tell you all my problems. This is not oatmeal. That's minute rice and pasta. Gluten-free pasta. Kelly, it's Fuseli. Fuseli? I don't know how to say that. It's a spirally one. Um, and rice. I should probably put them back in the cupboard, but they're just there. They're chilling. I wake up in the morning and I have to go potty really bad. So we always go to the grocery store. Um, last night was horrendous. They woke me up like 10 times. They did. Never going to know who they are. And if you saw my live on TikTok, we had a mouse uh, visitor two days ago. We have been dealing with this for a full year. This is the very first time we've had a mouse visitor. Going on about the mouse still. Um, you're not supposed to eat deli meat when you're pregnant either. I didn't know that. 
I just knew you were only supposed to eat a uh, sushi. It was terrifying. I'm way too pregnant to be jumping around, like just way too pregnant. So we're just getting breakfast, sandwiches, and potato salad, um, and eating it here at the store. We're not bringing any food back anymore. Um, oh, because the mouse, all right? I think the mouse, because you have a gazillion space heaters, probably was just cold. Because it was there any food in the tent? That would be gross. That'd be so gross if there's food in that tent. But last night was terrifying. Like I was, especially after those leaks, like Xavier's fucking Twitter pictures. Just telling myself over and over, everything's fine. There is no mouse. Like I cannot, you guys. I, I cannot. This mouse, if he comes back, is probably going to be what puts me into labor. So, cross your fingers and pray for me that this mouse stays away and that our patch job holds up. You haven't watched that watch that grant cardone undercover billionaire i seen that I, I well on the account that i follow heather on it was advertising that to me and i was like oh wow i wonder what this is maybe it was actually just heather's stories uh yeah they stole a wheelchair um i keep forgetting that for some reason they're just like we have a wheelchair now didn't really say how or where they got it just like we have it we have it now you know I've literally worked myself out of this situation like 10 times. That's that's why it's so infuriating. Like I should not still be here. I've gotten a job and gotten us out of this situation. I've started little side hustles and gotten us out of this situation. I literally feel like they're like assigning this set of circumstances to a group of people. And I'm the only one who ends up like having to be out here. Like it's I don't I don't even know what how, is that how she thinks the world works? Like there's just people in a room and they assign circumstances to a bunch of people, but then the other people get away from this somehow. This nefarious Illuminati type group Heather is made up in her head. Uh, but she gets trapped in the tent with Xavier and there's nothing she can do. It's just like some crazy spy movie where Xavier's a spy, but he's the worst spy ever. Um, he's supposed to be keeping Heather safe. Who is like the prize person, the main star um, and he just keeps fucking it up because he's Adam Sandler and a terrible spy movie. That's how like I see them nowadays. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for the sponsorship for the pedicure. I really appreciate that. You have no idea. Um, so we're going to take care of that and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. First time wearing eyeliner and mascara in probably a month. Hello. What's up, you guys? Oh my God. So... First of all, I'm huge and very pregnant. Mm -hmm. Did she get a, like a a pedicure and a manicure? Is that what just happened? Thirty eight weeks, five days. Whoa. Um. <laughs> they shrunk the tent. Is that one of the things she says this week? No, Heather's just not getting like huge because she's pregnant and shit. It's not her getting bigger. The tent's getting smaller. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that they keep bringing shit into the tent like a piano, a flipping piano. I can't believe I can't believe they kept it for this long in the winter too. The tent's just getting smaller. You guys, if you've been following my personal blog, you know what's really going on in my life amongst all of the um, chaos. I find these moments to do FTRs. Um, and I'm hoping that someday they will all be put together in a logical order and presented to a judge in a court of law uh, where people will have responsibility to explain what the fuck has gone on here. Heather, you're in the thick of it and you can't explain it. How are other people are supposed to explain it? How are they supposed to know? Um, and then with responsibility and accountability will come restitution. Um, every single oh. time that I have like a little small break in the chaos i think it's over um and that things are getting better and then they just knock me right back on my ass with more of the same harassment um as i was saying that we've already cleared up so there are no questions when it comes to me um there shouldn't be anyways i've been an open book this entire time um and i've also expressed the understanding that i have no desire to be a part of this continued uh abusive cycle um i don't want anything to do with it see like if you worked at mariano's and you were just like i don't know chilling on break eating a salad you could just listen to this 
and be like, this crazy lady, like, what is she talking about? Every day she's going on about something like this and to her phone. Who is she talking to? Is she FaceTiming someone? Like, what is happening here? So today um, I'm going to get a Nothing like a... Oh, okay. I might have to take this out after, but you have to see this. She, I didn't, I think this was actually from last week, but I didn't see it before. She made like an ad. She made an ad for this Apple VR thing. I don't know what it's called. What is it called? Vision Pro. Because she thinks she's in virtual reality and she's like a product tester being held against her will. Um, because of course, if like you were trying to market virtual reality, you're going to make someone like live in a tent in virtual. Who's going to live in a tent in virtual reality? Anyways, she made this ad and it's fucking just weird. So I'll probably have to take the, the music out after, but I'm just going to play it for you guys so you can see it. Ever seen. It's just a thing of beauty. And then she links this this interview with the real gossip girl that I'm pretty sure we actually seen in one of the earliest videos. It's not a good interview. I don't know why she's doing that. It's just all this shit. Like, my life is terrible. Blah, blah, blah. Heather Gillespie by the new Apple Vision Pro. Like, what the fuck is that? So, just to take a, a little a little head count, how many people have I given permission to have access to my life? Uh, I don't know. I guess like. Anyone who watches your public content are in a way a part of that part of your life. And you put everything in your personal life on there. So I guess anyone, but I know that's not the answer she's looking for. That's right. Nobody, not a single one. What I use my social media for is to document my experience. You can do that without posts. You can do that in private, make a private account. And then you'd have to like approve everybody. For crowdsourcing and crowdfunding. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> just, just cut. I love the bear cut. Sometimes I love it when she's like all crazy and then she just gave up. She didn't even come back to finish her point. She was like, fuck this shit. I'm just going to go yell at Xavier or something. So we're 39 weeks pregnant. And the tent is literally collapsing from every single corner all of the poles i don't know if you could see are broken someone broke them the wind didn't break them weather didn't break them someone literally broke them yeah someone just came and was like sick of this person in the yacht club i'm sick of her um i've woken up like 30 times since i tried to go to sleep last night at like 9 p.m I am so uncomfortable, ladies, who've made it to 39 weeks. How did you do it? And I'm not sleeping on a bed. I'm sleeping on a... Isn't she one of the ladies who have already done this like three times? She has three other kids, right? Plywood wooden platform underneath our tent so that we don't get wet. It'd be great if uh, Xavier's father 311 would come through right about now. Yeah, it'd make more sense to ask like other homeless people how they live in a tent at this time in Chicago, then uh, pregnant women, how did you make it this far? Because you've already done that. Have, you haven't done this, though, have you? Has she been in the winter in Chicago? It's been like a full year, so I'd imagine she was outside or around this time last year. So I'm very grateful to be the age that I am and still okay uh, sleeping on the floor. I really don't know how my body is. That's Xavier's movie. That tripped me out. Doing this, thank God for my healthy body. Um, because wow, you guys, I am talk about resilient, right? Um, Xavier just put on a movie every day. I do the same thing. I wake up around this time between five and six, um, unless I have been woken up like intrusively like the other night with the mouse or something like that around like three or four, which has happened a lot. And I'm just sitting awake for like two, three hours, cranky and very pregnant. So now it's six 30. I'll stay awake. Um, I'll do a little bit of stretching from here, seated stretching. 
text all my children, tell them good morning, have a great day at school, please call me after school. I love my children to receive good morning texts from their mom every day rather than a significant other. I mean, would that be inspirational to you or would that just be annoying as fuck? Because I could see it as like, wow, you know, my mom, she lives in a fucking tent, but she still finds the energy to text me every day some annoying shit. Or would you just, would you find it annoying? Well, I'll run a poll while we're, while we're watching the Chrissy, thank you for the 999. Hey, Steven Chat, happy Friday. Uh, thanks for the team coverage. Love it. Yeah, of course. Of course. It's a team effort here. A lot of you also know one of the most controversial parts of my pregnancy is that I've been using CBD or THA. It's CHC. You smoke weed. You just smoke weed straight up. Don't try to like break it down. Like, oh, it's only CBD. It's not the one that gets you high. You smoke weed straight up. Like Leticia. Oh, this Heather. Don't be, don't be trying to mess with the weed talk. I that's one thing. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a botanist. I'm not a psychologist, but I smoke a lot of fucking weed. So Heather. GFCA. THCA, which is like a um, kind of like Step down from marijuana um, rather than ibuprofen or um, Tylenol. I don't think THCA is a step down either. Um, but whatever, whatever, Xavier, who legalized weed in Illinois or whatever, because the date that they did it was some kind of significant date of his. So he's like Hunter Biden knew. That it was me. That was a nod to me. I legalized weed in Illinois. Xavier is just as crazy as Heather. To manage my, pardon me, my pain and especially anxiety and difficulty sleeping this entire pregnancy. Um, it's been working for me. Um, some nights, some nights it just doesn't anymore. I think I'm just too far along. Um, but I am going to be circulating a thesis that I wrote about the effects of CBD, THCA, and how it's affected me in a real clinical way. I, I chose to use this as like a little experiment and documentation time. Is, are you talking about the Instagram account? Or are you talking about using weed while pregnant as an experiment? Because that would be a really shitty experiment. For like, why? Why would you even consider that? Um, so I will be publishing that here to my personal, um, but Hallelujah. with the exception of the tent situation, this pregnancy has been incredibly healthy. Um, I've been very, very active. You guys know that we were going from Chicago to the Northwest Burbs on foot at least once, sometimes twice or three times a month with 200 pound carts each with a, our bicycles on top, luggages, everything. Um, and we did that from the moment we found out I was pregnant all the way until about eight months, seven and a half months is when we condensed to one cart. And um, we took the walk uh, out there for the last time in November. And you made Xavier dump all his soggy magazines and he was sad. For the month of December, we had Christmas gifts. So we took the bus um, and we haven't gone yet for the month of January. Um, my kids are like, mom, please stop pushing yourself so excessively. So I feel guilty. Um, but I am yeah. huge right now. You guys really big. So 20 days ago, I was banned from going live on this account for a period of 24 days. Yep. Yeah. Because she, I think it's cause she showed the, um, the twins thing. Which is probably a silly thing to show or some nudity thing one or the other probably both um i never violated any of the rules but i think it was just getting very controversial the fact that i'm like pointing out all of these laws about human rights and civil rights and how mine and xavier's have been um you know. that's not that reason oh man yeah heather is going to change the world here we've got to shut her down she's talking about too many truths got alex jones her ass we gotta get her out of here that's not what happened that is not what happened bulldog mama thank you for the 20 um thank you all for you uh thank you for all you do steve i have been mia but i am back i'm glad you're back 
Um, I hope that you weren't MIA for any nefarious reasons. I hope everything's good and okay. Um, Heather has been Heather, you know, she's been up to her normal stuff, uh, but she is going to pop like any day. It's scary. You know, ignored and not no action was being taken. And this is not a matter of like sneaking around or being below the radar. I've gone directly to the steps of law enforcement and said, you tell us where to go if this is not an acceptable solution. Um, we've also been calling on the city of Chicago um, and numerous other, um, you know, resources. So it's been the same. It's been this. This is going on for now. 18, 19 months and counting, and we have really extensive documentation. So I'm using these FTR sections to update right now because I cannot do lives. If you guys go to the live, I could see Heather turning into like the. Uh, do you guys know about the um, the? I think it's Love Wins. That Love Wins cult. Um, they're rebranded now, I think. But their leader, they, she ended up dying. Um, I was going to say, unfortunately, because like a death is sad either way. But I mean, like she was running a call. I could see Heather doing that, though. Like she's got the same kind of gumption <laughs> but with homeless people. I'm surprised she hasn't tried something like that. Probably because she just like she doesn't play well with others at all. Um, no, that my th oh, father, thank you for the two. Um, doesn't act like anyone who's ever given birth. But she has three times, supposedly. Sup? Oh, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's evidence. There's the kids, but yeah, she doesn't act like it. Live section in the middle column, you'll see live updates every single day. Almost. But yeah, so for the last, since we've been at this location, just, you know, I have very limited mobility at 28 weeks, 29 weeks, I started having Braxton Hicks contractions. Braxton Hicks contraction? What the hell is that? When I seen you guys saying Braxton Hicks contractions, I thought that you guys were just making fun of her, like dog and on. She actually said Braxton Hicks contract. Is that a real thing? Am I? I'm not a doctor or a guy. In a, I guess a gynecologist. Would they do that? I don't know. But um, is this a, is that a real thing? Which are contractions that feel very real. Your your uterus, your tummy get very very tight, um, but they don't produce you. Um, they they are non productive. I mean to say. Pardon me, meaning it's a real thing. Okay. I didn't know. You're not producing the things I learned. <laughs> the hormones that you need to produce to face or dilate your <coughs> cervix. So my cervix has remained strong. Um, I did lose a twin pregnancy, as you guys know, in December, December 26, 2022, a little over a year ago at 18 weeks, six days. So this has been really rough on my body. Um, and I did also get pregnant on an injection of birth control. So I know God wants this and I'm very grateful, uh, but it has been very painful and difficult. Yeah, I can tell like God wanted this because Xavier is bulletproof sperm. I remember I just said that, remember? Remember, guys. Uh, Katie Fisher, thank you for the two. Uh, just because, just because yous, you're so awesome. You're awesome. I can't read tonight. Just because yous, you're awesome. I think that's what it says. But thank you, thank you for the two. Um, with the with regards to the epidural, a lot of people are asking me, "What's my plan for that?" And quite frankly, I haven't. What is your plan for that? I guess I didn't think of that, but yeah, what is your? Oh, I forgot to do the poll. Done much sitting down in the last four years prior to this, so I kind of I feel like everything happens for a reason. God sat me down, um, you know, for the last several weeks, and I have accomplished pretty much everything that I've been accomplishing repeatedly, calling law enforcement in various jurisdictions to follow up on all of the abuses, sexual assaults the bludgeoning, um, asking them what goes on, um, what's the process for me receiving restitution and victim services, which is uh, uh, mandated by Marcy's law, which was passed in 1991 that states any victim of a violent crime or heinous sexual offense will receive restitution, whether the offender can pay it or not. And that will come from the court system. I've not been permitted or granted. I don't think that's what it says. I don't think that's what it says, but I, I could be wrong. A single day in court regarding any of these attacks. So I've been catching up and documenting all of that. Um, and then I also just began one more round of emailing every detective who's been involved, um, all of the state's attorneys, uh, Roxanne DeJulius, who is the original um, chief security officer. 
Roxanne and Julius, the originals, the OGs. What is it? Can we see the email? Oh, it's just a whole bunch of people forwarding. It's law enforcement still functioning in your city. Is that all the email was? But she emailed like all Nick Albuquerque's on this. All right, cool. Got Nip, Nick Albuquerque twice. Um, Tristy Samson. I don't know who that is. Roxanne DeJulius. DePage County Security. DePage County again. So, oh my God. I wonder how many like emails I get like that that aren't just from Heather, but from like there must be other crazy people that just send emails like this every day, right? That must be something. Who has to deal with that? Officer at the judge's office at um, the Daily Center location, along with several judges. Um, I don't know what they're called. Chief chief staff, not chief security. Their administrative staff. Each judge has their own assistant. I don't know where Heather gets this information either, but I just imagine her finding it out somehow and being like, oh, I got to write that down. I'm going to fucking email them in the morning. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. So I have that list uh, ranging back from 2019, and I have been emailing these people for a period of four years now. So I've just been sending everyone an update. Pardon me, um, including the state of Illinois, proving, as I've said again, um, you know, that I have been chased out of 21 jobs that I have been sexually assaulted, bludgeoned, my head has been split open, I've been beaten and left in a tent to die after my vehicle and home have been destroyed and three children have been separated from me. Those children have lived with me since birth. They're my babies. And I've even... Except for the time that you were... Uh, what was she saying happened? She was like, I was getting trafficked from like 2018 to this time and then something else happened and this and that. But all these... There's big gaps at time especially the last four years where she hasn't had custody of the kids. So she, but she keeps saying, I've raised them since birth. Included emails that I have sent to mayors of other cities and states. So from Minneapolis wow. to Michigan, um, to Indiana, to Wisconsin, all of the kind of surrounding Midwest region um, states. I have you know, taken the opportunity to email not only local aldermen to Chicago, but also um, political figures for surrounding states, asking them, are there any issues with law enforcement overall? Um, I have noticed a trend every two to three months, CPD will be missing and they will be replaced by Cook County sheriffs. What? What the fuck? I, oh my God. Just, just, get out of the tent. Get out of the tent. Worry about that. Why are you worried about like uh, what cops are operating, what days and like what? The mayors of different cities are going to do about it. Way too much time on your hands. Why are you even telling us this? This video telling us all this useless shit you've done is a waste of my time. Like, what is, what is this? That's typically indic uh, indicating that there is a staffing problem, which is typically indicated because of corruption. She, I don't know what the corruption is. We're working backwards here. We're not going to start with the the corruption itself and figure out who's corrupt. We're just going to be like, those people are acting corrupt. So there must be some corruption. It's up to the mayors to figure it out though. So usually when police, you know, there's too much crime in an area or the police are being extorted or in some way implicated, um, not blaming either the police nor the public, but when there are issues like that, they take police out and add sheriffs um, until they're able to clear up what's going on, which has been the case now today in Chicago. So my kids start school between seven and eight, depending on which one we're talking about. I'm going to go message them now and tell them good morning and make sure they have their homework done and et cetera and so forth. I try to keep as normal of a schedule as I possibly can. Um, I also have been emailing all of the staff from the 21 jobs I've been working at where the management has either forced me out unlawfully um, or has been extorted into doing so. So yesterday I reached out to Car Santos, who works for LA Fitness. Um, there have been multiple emails with HR from Export, um, as well as you know a, a bunch of different companies. I've worked at 21 companies since this controversy began for me in 2020. Um, and everyone has ended in the same way. Zero disciplinary action. I'm always like employee of the month, door dasher of the month, et cetera, and so forth. But something happens and um, there's some sort of blockage. So go to Nick Albuquerque. Why are you bothering the police with this? You're trying to get letters from the places you've worked being like, tell, 
write a letter saying I was wrongfully terminated and that I was a great employee. I'm sure they're going to do that for you. No, they're, they're not going to do that. And the police, even if, let's say, let's say from some crazy miracle, guy had a stroke and forgets who you are, writes you a great review. It's like, yeah, we wrongfully terminated her. We even want her back. But she says she doesn't want to work because she's Heather Gillespie. Um, the cops are going to be like, we're not the ones to take care of this. All right. I know you think so because of Marcy's law or whatever. You think the D it's the DA's responsibility? No, get a lawyer to go and present this and say, I don't even know who you would sue. Who would you sue over this? Like, but it's not the police's responsibility. I've been doing I've been staying busy from the tent, you guys. Um baby's coming soon. Oh, I guess you'd sue the TV company by her own logic. She's like, it was the TV show that did all this to me. But I think the best news of the day is that we made it to 39 weeks and February the 8th is today. So for anyone who knows. So yesterday. So this was, yes, this we're almost at the end of our stories here. I get a little tiny bit of money, uh, approximately 300 and something dollars um, since September of this year when I found out I was pregnant. Um, and I am using that to get the travel system. I've already gotten clothes, bottles. I'm planning to breastfeed so I don't have to do too much with the feeding systems. Um, pacifiers, socks, hats, mittens. I was thinking of doing maybe on Thursdays, like a little update for, um, cause Latiti's in jail, but there's like jail updates for her. Same with Jeremy DeWitt and fucking Martin Cabello. So we could do like jail updates on all three of those guys. There's some darker fuck in there. Um, that would probably fill the whole show, actually. And we could do, like... Because I don't know what to do with those guys otherwise. Like, I can see you still do, like, deep tracks. We gotta learn more about Jeremy. We gotta learn more about Martin. But all these jailbirds, man. We gotta have, like, some kind of weekly update for them. Um, diaper bags. So the travel system was, like, the last thing that we needed. Um, and literally, that's, that's it. Like, I was freaking out. Like, oh, my God, what happens if I go into labor and I haven't gotten it yet? We made it. So we're going to pick that up at some point today. Um, All right. So this is, yeah, this is yesterday in the late, the travel system. This is an adventure. They go out on the town. They look at a bin that they threw away. That's still out in the ocean. Not, I don't know if that's the ocean, but um, I don't know. It's something. And maybe the tent is like falling apart right when God is saying, you guys are done with this tent, you know? Amen. Amen. We were praying. It's a skeleton. We were praying. Were you praying? Um, I don't know what this is. This is. Oh, God. Okay. So this is what she sent the fitness place. This is what she sent car car. So I spoke with HR at HI. What the fuck? At LA Fitness a bunch of times. And they say to this day that you never even pulled a background check on me. Um, that was your reason for termination, wasn't it? You texted me in writing stating that HR had a problem with my background check. I'm fully aware uh, that you know more than what you're saying. This occurrence of wrongful and unjust termination was just one of 21 in the past three years. Does she think like if she can get him to admit it, then it's going to become a reality? Yes, Heather. That's exactly it. Is because I forgot to do the background check. So you were wrongfully terminated. That's not going to happen. He's going to tell you to kick rocks. Um, everyone gives a fake excuse. And now I'm trying to tie it all together to assist law enforcement. Law enforcement's not trying to solve this. And figuring out and presenting evidence to the state that will re law enforcement is the state. That will result in answers and explanations for why slash how I have been oppressed and chased out of every income earning opportunity I've created that you've created uh, over these years. Uh, please feel free to contact me via email, but one Heather G at gmail.com with what the fuck? Why did you take the screenshot like this? I'm glad I can actually zoom in though. Uh, email the, dot com with more information I'm trying to gather. The information myself so that I can present it to law enforcement. I feel like when they have been in when they have been incapable of gathering any of this, 
I think this is supposed to be one word. They've been incapable of gathering any of this information as I've been spending my fourth year unlawfully removed from my own home and separated from my children. Please consider this an urgent request. If you would feel more comfortable emailing this to law enforcement, please let me know and I will give you a contact. Thank you, Heather Gillespie. Um, so there you go. That was, that was an interesting read. I was just going to uh, dance out here. All right. So shout out to my sponsors, Target, um, who have accepted my phone call and request for my travel system and set it up at customer service for us. If you want to be other sponsor, all you have to do is seller stuff like any other customer. And then she's going to be like, I'm sponsored by these guys. Thank you. Literally, it's like a celebration to get someone who answers the phone and is not awful. Pat was amazing. Don't even shit talk Pat or Kelly. They were both fucking gems. You know, so that's fantastic. We're going to pick it up. I have been asking Xavier to put his leggings on now for about 45 minutes mm -hmm. and he finally got him on. Show him. <laughs> Okay, what? Xavier's like a kid. <laughs> Beautiful day. February in Chicago. So, th this whole fucking scene is weird. This is, We got Xavier walking Heather in the wheelchair, you know, doing your FTR. They're listening to classical music, I'm assuming, so the baby can be smart. You know how, like, parents will play... Uh, Mozart for the kid what's in the womb. So they'll be smart, right? Classical music. So we're just walking through the city of Chicago blasting classical music. Um talking about nonsense while we also go see a, a bin that's been tossed over the side by them apparently. I it's 45 outside. They knew that we had to go pick up the travel system today. This is such a blessing. While Heather rambles about they knowing that they need to pick up the travel system. So they, they made it a little warmer today. Look at you guys remember the bin? Remember our bin? Do you do you guys remember the bin? Because I don't remember the bin. But that's their bin, apparently. Go grab it. No. And then I don't know what this is. This is I'm not used to the frumpy tent Heather, and I absolutely understand and respect the value and confidence in self and how lucky I was to leave my own home and shower and clothes, etc. These are all universal rights in my opinion. Home, shower, plumbing, clothing, food, transportation, health care. Well, maybe. I don't know. I do not know. I'm not a sociologist. <laughs> I got the power. It's total traffic. And so this is the the car seat, or what they call the traveling system, because they don't have a car. So I guess a car seat is an offensive term to them. It's the traveling system. That is, guys. is sponsored by Indeed.com. Temperatures. It's just like upside down. Now this is her rant. Okay, trigger warning. This is her rant about immigrants. And she is asking the president of the United States to help her. Help! Help me! Because um, she doesn't understand why the immigrants get assistance and she doesn't. That's what she says. So here's the only thing, uh, America. And this is Heather Gillespie. In case you didn't know who this fucking lady was. I am all for helping people and sanctuary cities and all of that. I am a natural born citizen of this country who has been employed full time the majority of her adult life. Except for the past four years. And uh, any time before 14. You're probably working part time 14 to I guess 18. Let's just. Let's just say 18 till how old's Heather again? I think someone told me she was like fucking 36 or something. She can't be 36, right? And living in my own space my my whole entire life. 
how do you justify America, law enforcement, et cetera, and so forth? Xavier and I just walked all the way to Target Broadway to pick up my travel system for my baby. She's 37. She looks like, I thought she was like, 42 or something but um i don't know i'll do some math and see like how long heather's actually worked full time we have 20 closed tickets for shelter assistance through the city of chicago that have all been closed with no shelter being provided and there is an entire probably 100 to 300 refugees um who have been given a huge church on the corner of irving and lakeshore drive I don't want them out. I'm not saying, why do they get that? That's bullshit. I'm saying, why did they get that? And I'm in a tent. That's what I'm saying. 39 weeks pregnant. So that's her little rant. Why did they get this? And I don't. Why doesn't Heather? Because Heather doesn't play about the rules. That's why. That is why, guys. That is fucking why. Um, I was going to do math, and then I didn't. Oh, I don't know what this is. It wants me to read. I feel like. My attention. Um, fitness isn't the only thing. Fitness isn't only about losing weight. Ten years from now, you won't care how much you weighed in 2023. 2024 now, but that's okay. Uh, but you will care about how much strength energy you have to keep going with your kids, grandkids, nieces, and nephews. I'm Heather Gillespie. Sango, thank you for becoming a member. Real is rare. So fake is everywhere. I could say nothing, but the hundreds of thousands of strangers are permitted to slander or abuse me. Oh, okay. So she gets angry here. This was from today. She's like, why um, do people get to talk shit, mean things about me? But when I say mean things, it gets flagged. I don't know. I just went live literally four or five times. I got into explaining how they are housing approximately one to three hundred housing refugees at Irving and Lakeshore Drive, but I can't get into shelter there. Uh, so this is kind of continuation, I guess, of the uh, the immigration thing. 15 years it would be. If we do 37 minus 4 minus 18, we got 15 years left. If she's telling the truth, if she worked from 18 to, uh, I guess we'd say 34 before she came homeless in the tent, or 33. Uh, that's 15 years, Heather. That's is that is working full time 15 years enough for society to just give you an apartment for no fucking reason because you had some mishaps in your life and some unfortunate things happened to you. I would bet you that probably a majority of people have had some unfortunate things happen to them because we're all human and that's part of the human experience. I don't think any of us are owed fucking houses and shit because of it. And I don't want them to be thrown outside or to suffer, but I don't want to suffer either. I'm 39 weeks pregnant and this is my 12 month in a tent. The disgusting slander in my comments, ridiculous. So just to play devil's advocate, I jumped onto a live and started repeating just a few of the things that have been said to me. Okay. 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 So this would be, I guess, when the lives happened and she kept getting shut down. So we can actually pop over to those. Um, We'll let her finish this story and then we'll take a smoke break and then we'll jump to the lives and then we'll come back over to the stories. I don't think there's much more other stories to be honest though. But she did go off for about, uh, oh, there's like five minutes left, but we can end it up there just so everything's chronological. I would just put them all in one video, but my editor doesn't like, um, I don't know, the, the lives for some reason. So I got to do this separate. It took Instagram five seconds to kick me out of the live and report me. How the fuck is it possible that I have so many videos of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people telling me to die, telling me to kill myself, telling me that they're calling all these fucking agencies on me? Do we do that? I don't do that. I don't say that. I don't know. I'm not going to say it because I don't say those things. But I don't, I've never seen you guys do it. Like, I've never seen your highness or Xavier Shankla's or BCG or TD or Mama Bear or Crazy Train or any of those guys say anything like that. Criticize you, sure. But um, 
that's fair game. You criticize a lot of shit. You criticize the city of Chicago for helping out immigrants. So we're allowed to criticize you for being a mother of fucking three living in a tent for some homeless dick while being pregnant and doing drugs. Come on. But I can't even breathe a word negative. Back. So for the record, Xavier Shankla is another channel that I don't see saying, ah, kill yourself, Heather. If any of my posts seem out of order or difficult to understand or like I'm not able to articulate fully or just they don't make sense to you, chances are it's whoever's been hacking my phone is back in my phone again, hacking it. And the mouse. The mouse is hacking it. All right. We should probably take a smoke break, switch over to the lives. We'll get the lives queued up, actually. Um, so these are the Instagram lives they kept shutting down that she was just angry about that she kept being like, ah, they took me, it took me five seconds to get shut down. Make a meow, make a meow, make a meow. Um, so we'll get that ready for when we come back. I don't have any. Oh, no. Oh, no, homie. <laughs> it's my Edwin voice. Uh, let me think here. Where was that video? I should be able to get a video for you guys to watch while we do a quick smoke break. Um, I think it was here and here and here. Uh, one second. Yeah, this is what? I think dogs. I think we got dogs again. Yeah, puppies. Um, should have got this queued up before. That's okay. So these are the dogs, the do dogs in the house. I gotta mute this though. Mute that, share this instead. Uh, I guess zoom in. And we'll skip to like here. Look, there's a dog in the snow. He's in the snow. He's playing, he's jumping around. Um, switch it out to this. I'll put the banner up. I'll put, I wish there was just one button to do all this. That would make my life a lot easier. But there isn't. There is. I can get rid of all those too now. Okay, guys. I will be right back.
Okay. All right. Let me get the, the banner off here. And we get these cuties off. How do I get you? How do I do this? Um, well, I guess I can do this. I'm sorry. So that's what I want to do after. Um, close that. Okay. So, so, um, I want to end this poll first. And then I'm going to forget to do this if I don't forget to do this before. Uh, so only 3% of you would be inspired? I think I would be inspired. I'd probably be inspired and annoyed, but more inspired than annoyed, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a crazy, crazy guy. But also, why are my things? I don't want this screen. I want this other screen. Um, well. Okay, we have a new thing. We have a new thing. Um, Reality Shack, Reality Stick, Reality Stick. Thank you for becoming a member. Um, same to you, Sun Queen Eight Hundred. Thank you for becoming a member. Um, which reminds me that we got to do the thing. We got to do. I have five more. I was. I meant to do this the other Heather stream, and I did. I didn't. So I did this on the Gala stream, uh, but I have some memberships to give you guys. It's random, so I don't know who's gonna get them. But uh, we'll do this. Five more. Or so I don't know where they'll go, but here you guys go, and then we'll get into the live streams, and then we will um, finish up the stories, and then we'll. Be, that'll be it. That'll be it for the. The thing of Heather this week. Um, I wonder if she's done anything else while we've been here. So let's see. We got Melissa M. Oh, I know Melissa. And Kelly, Kelly G. Uh, reality Stick. Oh, I think they just said <laughs> that's going to be like they just got one. Or maybe, maybe you gifted them. Um, oh, okay. Gabriella. Gabriel or great grass grass Graciela. I can't read guys. I'm really bad at reading tonight. I'm sorry. Um, because I think they're supposed to be five. They're supposed to be five. One, two, three. Ray J. I don't know. But you there you get there you guys go. Um I thought I can only count to four, but I don't, I don't know. Anyways, let's get into Where's my other screen now? I need to get two screens. That will help me. That will help me in life. You know? Yeah, no, you know. So these were crazy Heather lives. Uh, great. These were Heather's crazy lives. You know, in the same spot day. Um, we've been forcing ourselves to walk five to 10 blocks at least every single day. Um, you guys who have been here all along um, from the beginning I know that I am a very active person. I'm always at the gym. I'm always working out and I'm always doing exercise outside if I can't get to a gym. Um, so that's been different sitting in this tent. Um, we just got the travel system, which has been leaving me with a tremendous amount of anxiety. Uh, probably. But I thought she would be relieved that she got the travel system. What is she what is she anxious about now? My number one source of anxiety because people can get us hotel rooms. We can go to a shelter with baby. Um, Xavier's dad can come through and give us the apartment or he can even say, son, I want you to come home and have your, your old room back. I live here alone. I'm typically not even home. You know, there are a million solutions for housing, um, but if you don't have anything for your baby, it's a different story. If you don't have diapers, if you don't have clothes, if you don't have blankets, now you're not only at a, in a position where you need a roof over your head, but you also need everything. So I've been slowly, little by little, balancing the difficulty of purchasing stuff, having nowhere to keep it. Um, and also knowing that the more value I fill in my space, um, the more risk I'm assess I'm taking over because anytime now that I have to go potty and we have to leave, we definitely put a lock here and police know that we're yeah, the potty thing. Like I don't, it's weird hearing a grown ass woman say potty. Maybe she's getting ready to have the kid, right? She's got to say potty to the kid. She thinks I don't know. here. Um, but it's just equally, it's, it's very frustrating and anxiety producing to spend money that you've worked really hard on, 
um, raising or, or, um, being donated. None of my donations come when I'm just asleep. You know, it's all a result of all of this documenting, reaching out to the community, um, explaining the situation as it stands, being very thorough in documenting, um, being very, very thorough. And what I mean by that is f almost 500 pages of dates and times of all of these victimizations and all of the circumstances that have led up to us being in a tent. I've so is that just like the evidence or is that uh the narrative or is that the novel or is it just like is that everything you know what i mean like is the novel the narrative that's also the evidence like is it a jacuzzi is a hot tub kind of thing or are these all separate things never been in a tent before i don't have a drug addiction i don't have a mental health problem so the things that society will typically assign homeless people to make to make themselves feel good enough to look away to make themselves feel justified in not having a problem with it those things don't apply to me um and i'm kind of i'm already lost i don't know what the fuck she's talking about glad that they don't i don't think anyone should be left in these positions outside with no resources but i'm very glad that they don't because it goes to prove okay, okay your problem with so and so or offering funding for homelessness is that they're on drugs well i'm not right i don't do drugs as a matter of fact i'm very intelligent i don't even take ibuprofen or tylenol right now am i going to get the epidural you betcha <laughs> you know 100 percent yes um but i don't i don't do drugs or party or any of these things that people say well that's how she ended up homeless so that doesn't that doesn't affect me or apply to my my situation um me being on drugs that's just a coincidence that doesn't apply here all right it was love after lockup and dylan and it's a day it's not drugs for my poor decisions or anything else like that okay it is the show uh when i referenced the crow i was looking at ria's face and i was like she kind of looks like um the crow from the crow uh Brandon Lee was it Brandon Lee? I think it was Brandon Lee when he has the crow makeup on. What does affect me and apply to my situation is a, a large amount of corruption. Um, just to give you guys a brief overview before I get into what we did today, um. I don't think anyone should be left outside. I think that if when they're in prison, we can provide for them, then we should definitely be able to do that when they're out of prison. And that leaving people just out in the street to, to undergo psychosis or drug induced, you know, hallucinations or other, you know, um, passion, not passion crimes, but crimes of necessity, like I'm hungry, I need to eat. So I don't have money. So I go sell food. Uh, I'm tired. I need to Oh, like the ethics class question, like, is it ethical to seal a loaf of bread to feed your family? To sleep, but there's nowhere for me to sleep, so let's do drugs. All of those things are causal to homelessness. So if we're not even putting our people who have criminal records, drug problems, or mental health issues in those positions, how do you justify putting a person who is 39 weeks pregnant in that position? How do you justify putting anyone in that position? Yeah, she is like... She's on something. She's on uppers or something. Did you speed these up, BCG? They're not sped up, right? Like, this is just her tweaking. How do you justify putting a person who doesn't use drugs, who doesn't party, who doesn't have mental health issues, and who is 39 weeks pregnant in a tent for one whole year, 12 months? It doesn't make sense to me. In addition to that, Xavier and I just walked by. Um, Xavier, do you want to tell the people what you bought it's from the man? From the man? From from the nice, what did you buy from the nice man, Xavier? The man on the side of the street who is selling Coca Colas. So and and where was that? Who was that man? A Venezuelan refugee. So we have. Um, I'm a mermaid, not a dolphin, but thank you though. Um, no, I don't know. I don't know if it's uh, who wants to be a hobonair worthy. Um, but I want every time she grills him, I want to make like more little shorts of that. Um, so we have about three hundred people roughly placed at Irving Park and Lakeshore Drive in a church that they have purposed for these refugees. I am a natural born citizen. That's way too much work for them. They can't pick up cans and recycle them or sell Coca-Cola. They can't do anything. 
citizen of the United States, and I've been held in a tent for the past 12 months. I'm not under arrest. I don't have a criminal record, and I don't party or use drugs. So what is your justification? In addition to that, I have three children, 17, 15, and 10 years old, who are desperately waiting for their mother to come home. And right, like common sense says, like I have since the day they were born, respectively. Um, with that being said, uh, let's get into the happy part of this. Um, I need answers. And, and well, I mean, okay, so I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying like, oh, shame on her for not recycling. I'm saying she could make money recycling. Like you could pick up cans, like Daniel Larson does, and then bring them to the recycling center and get like five cents a can or whatever, right? I'm not even for recycling. Okay, I think recycling is maybe a bit of a scam. All right. Mm -hmm. I don't, I see corporations getting cuts and I see myself playing with garbage and I see a lot more trucks and plants causing pollution to process all the recycling and most of the recycling ends up in the landfill anyways. So I don't know. I think it's a feel good thing. And if it was actually solving any issues, then more issues would be solved right now. We wouldn't be so fucked up with global warming and I don't know. That's just my opinions on recycling and people, some people think I'm crazy. I think it's a good idea on paper. I think it could be done better, but Heather could be making like five cents a can recycling is my point, I guess. And I feel as though the rest of the world should be asking for them as well. Um, I'm not saying I don't want the sanctuary people to be assisted, nor am I saying that I deserve something that someone who's made a mistake in the past and served criminal or served um, prison time doesn't deserve. I am saying that I've been a tax paying citizen since I was 14 years old and I'm 38 years old now. I am saying that I am a good person. I am saying that I don't go around abusing and using others. I am saying that I have very, very strong and excellent mental health. Very, very strong. You can't recycle cans in Chicago. They don't, they don't give you. Anything for cans in Chicago for recycling? That's kind of crazy to me. Really? An excellent physical health. And Good. that I am 39 weeks pregnant and I deserve to be inside my own space as I was when these people found me in 2020 and threw me out of my home. Um, now, if the law enforcement uh, surrounding us cannot make that happen, She's in the worst place to be homeless ever. You can't even recycle cans in Chicago. The police apparently don't help you and they're not real and they're corrupt. Um, there's no government assistance. You say you could get so much assistance in California. If James Soroka can bounce around from assistance to assistance and they could, they just like live in life in hard mode and not even be good at the game. Like, it would be one thing if they were, like, really good and living in hard mode. But they're, like, just, they're on the freaking tent. They're going to die out here. That's what we go to the court system for. And if the court system refuses to see me, which has been the case, that's when the communities and society come together as a whole and say, we see what's going on and we're not okay with it. If it were happening to me, we would say absolutely what not. You know, we would not this? be okay with it. And typically, if people are not okay oh, with something for themselves, life. it's a lot easier for them to see why someone would be upset about it happening to them, right? So we just got done walking all the way to Target, Wilson. Xavier pushed me in a wheelchair. If you guys were here last week, um, we went to Yolk. Yolk has $2 uh, pancakes on Wednesdays. And we were very, very low on funds. I just got funding um, yesterday, I, I'm sorry, this morning, and Xavier just got funding from his father yesterday. So my fund... So he's alive then. I guess he they he got the phones put back on because we got all these beautiful FTRs and lives this week. Um, <laughs> Nick Xavier got his funding. So his dad just gives him money to live outside. They're like, well, you're not living here because you're crazy, but I don't want to see you starve on the street. It's such a sad existence. Get your shit together, Heather. Because you're not... Both of them. You're not the only person. That, like, there's people depending on you. You know, you already have kids. You're going to have another kid. Xavier's depending on you. Um, you're depending on Xavier. It's a weird, it's a weird time. Do not come um, from, you know, being lazy and unemployed. I've had 21 jobs. If you guys look on this, on this story from today, um, you could see that I have made it my job 
to take the investigative lead on my own case and to contact every single person who has hired me and nefariously either fired me or disconnecting the live third time in a row in under 10 minutes. Um, all of that is illegal in itself. And if law enforcement cannot come together to even investigate and put together a, a timeline on who has sexually assaulted me and where, um, who has robbed me out of employment and when and why, um, who has bludgeoned me in the back of the head, causing my skull to fracture or my head to fracture, needing staples to close the wound, uh, the women who jumped and stabbed me 11 times, none of my life sounded anything like this prior to 2020. Uh, 2019. So when you start looking at the timeline and see that I made it 30 some years of existence, raising my children in a relatively quiet, uh, normal, civilized fashion, working full time for Northwestern Hospital, Alexium Brothers Hospital, Affinity Optical, um, and many, 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 many other jobs, you know, many, 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 but those are the, the highlights. Um, this one can't get kicked from chat. I don't know, you wouldn't be able to be. You'd have to do something nuclear. Uh, I, I can't see that happening. Factories, retail stores, et cetera, and so forth. Uh, none of none of what's going on makes any sense. Um, and it all surrounds the release of the person I was in a relationship with. And that's when everything began to take place. Um, so it's, it's all Dylan's fault, guys. It's all Dylan's fault. All there. And that's my that's my main issue. There are several hundred refugees who have been given a safe warm place with meals provided to them and you can drive by uh, irving and lakeshore drive and see these people see if you just bought a coke from one of them they were selling um slinging cokes for the low outside for a dollar or something like that so and he said god god bless you you know i don't want anything bad for these people i believe that society should be assisted this man selling the cokes has really left an impression on her seeing anyone who needs it but what the fuck, you guys? I'm a natural born United States citizen working since I was 14 years old, 39 weeks pregnant, literally about to have a baby at any time, separated from my three big kids. Why? Why are you doing that? You know, I want I want my life back. I want my car that you've destroyed back. I That's not happening. Fucking what do you? Why does she think somebody's doing this to her that isn't her? Like, does she actually think she can't actually think this, right? It's all the grift, right? Tell me it's the grift. I want my home back. So my children want their home back. My children want their mother back, you know? And and on top of that, how many times we've walked to... Uh, we read all the all of Heather's police reports and um and Dylan and Marissa's, I'm pretty sure. We, what, what stream was that? I can't remember what stream it was. I should probably, uh, I think if you, maybe if you, maybe if you search police with it, it'll come up. There's probably with the police stream. I think I did a police stream. Um, if someone remembers, can you let them know? Well, we did, we did one time in the day. To the courthouse and filed for petitions. Myself personally, you can go into any of the FTR, FTR sections of this profile, the HLG Forever profile, and the One Heather GEE profile, and see the proof of me on video in the courthouse standing next to the circuit clerk saying, Here is my petition. This is the eighth one I have filed. I need to see a judge. Four years I have been on this merry go round. Four years I have been being denied a court date. But let me ask you this if I went out, and beat the fuck out of someone, or if I went out and hosted or planned some sort of smash and grab, or I went out and, you know, did anything, even if I went out and just caused a scene, in your mind that law enforcement would be there to arrest me? None. So this is where the lives start, like, glitching out the little, like, skips, but I put them, I put them together. Um, <laughs> this is, I don't She's causing, well, not causing. She's talking about causing a ruckus. Maybe this is why I get taken down. I think your Wi Fi is just crap. None whatsoever, right? But when I'm getting sexually assaulted, held down, and someone puts their literal penis inside of my vagina while I'm saying, no, don't touch me. What the fuck are you listening to? No, I don't want to have sex with you. The police can't show up for that. That never happened. This is for educational purposes only. Uh, what the fuck? But they could show up to throw me in prison, right? Or, or in jail, right? When did they throw you in? Well, 
other than the well when did she get thrown in jail they could show up when we're standing underneath an awning because it's raining and it's cold outside and they can charge us with trespassing right they can show up when you know i call them about four locks on my apartment being overturned and someone having put semen on my bed sheets and they laughed in my and those people need to be charged just like the people who choose to come in the comments and say die kill yourself in the United States, where I want to raise my family, that shit doesn't exist. In the United States, where I want to raise my family, my kids will be safe to go online and no one will be preying on them, calling them names, telling them to kill themselves. I've called extra tech help that you have to pay extra you know, money for. There's no explanation. Oh, okay. I guess she's trying to figure out why the lives are shutting down. So she called tech support? That's a very old lady thing to do. You know, this is illegal and unlawful and it needs to stop. Um, what I was just... That would be a fun phone call. Oh my god. Oh my god. I used to... I'll give you guys a little, a little, little tidbit. I used to work for T-Mobile and I'd have some kind of crazy people's calling and saying... Not as crazy stuff as Heather, but I guess like kind of similar. It, it always gets like this when this other thing happened that has no correlation at all to the fucking data or the phone not working. It's just like the, the coverage is shitty in the area. But I feel so bad for the person who had to listen to Heather and be like, tech support, it's, they are hacking into the system and they're not letting me go live and say all these stuff on uh, Instagram explaining before I was cut. My life was cut off for the fourth time. And the reason these lives are so important is because I'm giving an update day by day, week by week, month by month. You can watch consistently and hear if you have ears and you're not a complete fucking moron, you can hear that what I'm saying is true. You can hear that I have thought about it and acted in ways that They don't let me have like just a normal conversation. They want things to be. Is this a normal conversation to you, Heather? This fucking psycho rant this is what she considers a normal conversation. So convoluted. They want me to, to forget to say things so that when you go back to reference the FTR and pile up all of these lawsuits, pertinent information is missing. And I promise they're harming themselves more than anyone. They're harming themselves. So anyways, um, this is sick. Like, it's sick. It's fucking demented. I want to press charges against everyone involved. Like, seriously press charges. Is that, is that the end of it? Hold on. That might be the end. That was a crazy 12 minutes if that is the end. Hold on. That was the end. That didn't feel like 12 minutes, but I'm kind of I'm kind of high, so that makes sense. Um all right, let's go uh to So after this, she hopped onto Facebook Live because she's like they won't let me go live on uh, Instagram, so I'll come over to Facebook and then we'll go back and finish up the uh I think there's like four minutes left of the Instagram stories, but this was, those stories were after these lives. So this is the next live she did. Hi guys. I'm so frustrated right now. I had a fabulous morning, probably the best morning that we've had in a while. Just yeah. Did that seem fabulous to you guys? Because we were able to get out and stretch our legs and breathe fresh air and my number one source of anxiety, as you guys all know, is obviously that we've been left to die in a tent um, for 12 months. Literally, I have taken every measure that you can imagine. Shelters, assistance homes, domestic abuse survivor groups, the National Human Sex Trafficking Hotline, politicians, older people, hospitals. There is not an avenue I've not explored numerous times for resolution yet 
nothing is resolved. We're sitting in a tent. I'm 39 weeks pregnant and my three big kids who have lived in my house and been under my care their entire lives are still separated from me. I mean, if I just went and started sitting in a shipping container and started contacting all these people and just claiming that they are keeping me in the shipping container, and I can't keep a job because I send my employers insane things or I just show up to places and tell people I'm working there and I'm not. Um, they wouldn't do shit for me. I would have to just leave the shipping container. You have to leave the tent and never come back. I'm convinced that's the only solution. It's a mind over matter thing at this point. Just get the fuck out of the tent and never look back. I'm sick of seeing her sitting in the tent being like, I don't want to be in the tent. Well, then why are you still here? Why are you still in the tent? I don't I don't understand, Heather. So there are a lot of problems with the situation. To see me smiling and like feeling happy in this day is so rare. It would just be fabulous if someone could just get all of the nasty negativity and just just get it away. You know, I, I cannot handle it. And I have not made it like a sad thing or like a secret, like, oh, Xavier. Don't let anyone know that I'm pissed off that they just blocked my six, you know, social media posts that were all documenting something that's very painful for me to discuss once, let alone six times. And they took them down nefariously. I come on here. Nefariously, just like a cat. And I keep it real. This is where I'm at. I started up here. I'm down here now. Let's talk about why. Because I have been getting shat on. So... If I'm up here naturally, it takes a whole bunch of down here-ers affecting my up here to bring me down here. No, 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 no. This is like you, let's just say you were up here. Um, you had a car and you weren't homeless and shit. And then you fucked up. You're like, and then you fell down. That was yourself. You did that. You did that. You can't just blame other people. No one, she's... It was Dylan and the show. Some people saw me on a show that not that many people know about. Like, I don't know. I'll go out on the street. We'll do word on the street. I'll be like, do you know the show Love After Lockup? And a lot of people will say no. <laughs> do you know who Heather Gillespie is? I'll be like, no. I'm like, damn. Would you hire this woman? And I won't, I won't let her talk. I'll just show them a picture. And they'll be like, yeah, probably. I won't like show the tooth either. Uh, but she won't she won't work she's gonna blame that show for fucking everything and dylan so i'm looking for solutions on how i can get all the down hearers away from me that'd be fabulous right we finally got a bunch of the stuff that the baby needed i've been ordering stuff off of amazon since we got to this location nearly 10 weeks ago for anyone who doesn't know um i have been unlawfully separated from my family and thrown literally into the street uh, police have ignored me when I have been raped, sexually assaulted, raped, um, when I have been robbed. Someone broke into my apartment after I had four locks installed on the door while I was asleep um, and stole a whole bunch of money, clothes, food, all sorts of things from me. I reported it to law enforcement. They laughed in my face. That was Harwood Heights. Did they laugh in your face because there was no evidence of a break in and you probably just spent the money. I don't know what you did with the clothes. That's kind of weird. And ate the food. Um, they took the sheet, the bed sheet filled with semen. Someone stole my eggs. So they, they took that and said they'd run, uh, you know, analysis, but did not come upstairs to dust for fingerprints, to take photos of all the locks that were broken open. You wouldn't let them upstairs. You yelled at them in the lobby and said you didn't want to talk with them. And you told them to just take it and get out of here. You, you did not let them upstairs to do any of that shit. You didn't even like suggest that they do it. To look at my apartment, nothing. Literally laughed in my face and asked me if I wanted a ride to the doctor. Um, that was in 2000. Yeah, because you got to do a grape kit. And in 22, I have been meticulously documenting all of the abuse. The abuse began in 2019, about three months before Dylan was. Mud pit. Mud Pit, how you doing tonight? Released when I was jumping. It's Friday, Mud Pit. Stabbed by three women 11 times with screwdrivers for no reason. For no reason. I didn't have any other interactions with these people prior. It's not like we knew each other from the prison. It's not like uh, 
I said I want all the smoke and pursued them after the fight had ended. Um, they had targeted me several weeks back um, at an actual visit, and I don't know what the problem is. I think it's because they knew Dylan was working deals, and they were taking it out on me because they couldn't get to him. I, that's the only thing I can think of, but I really don't know. No, you just don't get along with anyone. So, I don't know. It's getting late, so I can't just think of things out the top of my head. But it was probably some bullshit. I have been reporting these violent occurrences and attacks and assaults to law enforcement. Heather probably lost her vibrator. You know, so you, one of you bitches stole my vibrator. I know you won't need it. Uh, they're like, no, what the fuck is your problem? Get out of here. And you're like, I'm going to see you at the gas station. Something like that. Locally, as well as throughout the entire state of Illinois, as well as emailing political parties, aldermen, mayors, et cetera, and so forth for all of our neighboring states, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Michigan, Indiana, and et cetera, and so forth. I am not claiming to be a saint. I have you know, committed acts that I'm not proud of, like I was coerced and groomed into sex work. Um, I was selling sexy content. Did I look good doing it? Absolutely. I put my whole- Oh, they got the lights still. What is she? She was. Yelling. She said the lights were like flickering on and off, and the mouse was in there. And Xavier was gonna mace the mouse, like with pepper spray. That was some crazy shit. That was in the TikTok. I think that was in the TikTok live. Whole heart and soul into it. I did my makeup and hair. I learned marketing and sales. I adjusted lighting. I did set design. I learned how to collaborate with others. There are so many lessons I learned doing it. Do I wish I could take it back and know that in my moral, um, the fact that some random staff members changed my addresses in all of the area hospitals to DuPage County Prison's address. They took out my home address and put the address of DuPage County Prison. I've never been to prison in my life. I don't even have a criminal record. Do you hear that? I don't even have a criminal record. I hear it, but like we've seen things to the contrary. So all of this harassment and stalking that's been taking place, I have been quoted by lawyers as to saying, no, they don't want to do a personal injury case. There's something wrong with me. Yeah, you beat me over the head with a, with a tire iron and busted open my skull. But guess what? I could still go out, take any job that's on the market and kill it. No matter how bad you beat me up. Like you're a man, you busted open my head with a, a literal um, tire iron out of my What do you mean? What, what in the market can you go and kill? Well, that's not what I meant to press. My own backseat. The police responded to the call and somehow I still haven't gotten any victim services to that. That man was sentenced to 18 months in prison and I was not even notified that there was a court date. So if then justice was served. She wants money though. She doesn't want the guy to just have to serve his time. She also wants money. No, there's something going on here. So lawyers, serious lawyers are not trying to go for personal injury. Serious lawyers are trying to go against every single individual institution, starting with CBH to Advocate Hospital. Um, Northwestern Hospital has a whole lot of fucked up shit going on. Um, just bad. And I have reported it all diligently to every law enforcement mm -hmm. agent um, that there is in existence. Barrington, Lombard, Elmhurst, Chicago, many jurisdictions. Uh, and as I said, I've been emailing area law enforcement agencies, government agencies, et cetera, and so forth, letting them know everything that's going on. We're now in our 12 month in a tent and we walk by. I have the, um, I'm going to show you guys the mouse hole. And their little the story about the mace and stuff because that was kind of crazy. But that's all we'll watch, watch from that hour TikTok live. Um, this this church, this huge church on Irving and Lakeshore Drive, they are housing refugees there. There are approximately one to three hundred people in the entire thing. We only saw ten, but I know that that's capacity. Um, so I'm guessing it's between one and three hundred people uh, who are living there. I asked the man who lives inside que esta pasando aquí and, and he told me he's a he's a venezuelan refugee and that they have been allowing them to home home there to house themselves there um so we know that 19,000 refugees have come in they've given them the saint Clair hotel they've given them multiple churches i'm a natural born american citizen who's been working really hard since she was 14 years old paying taxes since she was 14 years old i've said this before i'll say it again you needed a work permit when I first started working at a, as a 14 year old girl to avoid criminal charges for child labor at 14 years old, you had to go to a Dean in your high school and get permission. 
a work permit to get a job. And that is exactly what I did. Why? But what, what, what is the point of telling us this? These are shitty accomplishments, too, by the way. I had a job. In, whoops. I had a job when I was 14. Whoopie fucking do. I didn't everyone. I had a job when I was 14. Worked at McDonald's. It was mid at best. A fucking tent for 12 months, 39 weeks pregnant. And I'm in Canada, so I didn't need a permit. You just give him the social insurance number. That's it. Riddle me that. So I'm all happy like we're in a good vibe we come back from going to target i have been being targeted unlawfully for four entire years i've not gotten more than a few weeks of a break from in between and i've also expressed that i want to press charges against everyone involved thousands of times nothing is new here i'm not an active participant in this i do not give my permission i think that it's disgusting um, and that everyone involved should be charged i want to know how it is possible that as a country we can find a way to house feed clothe, bathe, and support everyone around from refugees to prisoners to the homeless to regular middle class to people living on Section 8 to, I mean, you name it, every single at-risk or vulnerable population that exists has found some sort of support. Yeah, well, because there's a difference between all of those people and you, and people have been saying it, is, yeah, they're willing to work, and you're not. They don't just sit in a tent, making Instagram stories all day, bitching about this shit, making faces like this. Oh, ma, 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 ma. They go out and try to actually change their life for the better. And some of them slip up, and they end up going back a bit, but like two steps forward, one step back. Heather is not any steps forward or back. She's just like spinning in circles, making up crazy stories. And now she's pregnant, which is bad. But Heather Gillespie and Xavier Montoya are on month 12 in a tent outside. How do you explain that? Because during the time that you should have been getting the fuck out of the tent, you did the exact opposite. You did something that normally people would only do when they're in a stable living situation. And you decided, you know what? It'd be a good time to have a kid right now. How the fuck do you explain that? And I have 20 closed tickets, shelter requests through the city's 311 department on file with reference numbers. Some of them recorded so you can hear the person's voice on the other side as they close the case and, and claim that because we're single and this is their busiest season, um, that there is no shelter that they can provide. And that once the baby is born, because again, I'm 39 weeks pregnant, you guys. Once the baby is born, then Xavier and I will qualify for a family placement. What the fuck? What about, how about this? You should have never fucking thrown me out of my apartment in the first place. It's not the same people. The people you're talking to about getting free living situation or whatever for you and Xavier and a kid apparently on the way um, has nothing to do with you getting evicted from the apartment, from Dylan's apartment, right? That he had the restraining order put up against you. So that's why you were evicted and got kicked out. Or put me in the street and me and my children would still be going on about our business, living our lives. I'd probably still be selling renewable energy right now. But Dylan, no, you wouldn't. Right? Definitely wouldn't need to fund fundraise. Definitely wouldn't need to sleep on uneven ply, plywood. Definitely would not need to be literally flooded with spam, nasty messages, threats, physical violence, sexual violence. This is uncalled for. It's it's uncalled for. Now, I don't want any refugee to be outside or without a place to live. And that's not my purpose in bringing up the fact that, they're, that we're housing a bunch of refugees. That's fabulous. What the fuck do I have to do to get the same that we're giving refugees? New York. Heather, why don't you get creative? If you really think, if you really think that the refugees or immigrants have it so much better than you, then go, go become a, a citizen over there 
and then escape back over here to Chicago and see if anything is any different. They'll tell you the same shit. If you don't have a kid or whatever, and if you're with Xavier, you got to go to single shelters and you're going to say, no, but we're refugees. And then they're going to be, then you're going to be singing a whole different tune. Well, refugees don't have enough support. La, 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 la. Heather just doesn't understand how anything works, but she thinks she does. She acts like she does. And she gets angry like she does, but it's the complete opposite. Just like when the Vine notifications were telling her about Dylan and Marissa's shit. And she's like, why can't anyone tell me? It's because like you're making up shit in your head. Is putting thousand dollar debit cards in the hands of each family of four. If you are a refugee each month in exchange for the promise that they will spend them on bodegas and small stores and grocery stores. So they have to use that money to work so that to buy inventory they got to run the that's not a lot of money to run a shop off of you wouldn't be able to run a shop off that that is more assistance than i've ever been provided in this country in my entire existence and i'm a natural born citizen with three children how do you make that make sense are you going to go work a bodega are you going to do i can't picture you doing that heather we everyone wants to talk about having morals and values and ethics. I don't even know if that's legit either. Like, I don't know if the city of Chicago is like, okay, here's a thousand dollars, go run a bodega. But if so, like, I guess that's pretty good. But it not being my problem, I believe in one love. There's a concept of one love, it originated as a Rastafarian concept and it has evolved into what I know it to be today. What I know it to be today is. Is a Bob Marley song that I heard while I was high. And now I'm just going to make up a bunch of shit around it because I do that with everything else. So I'm not even going to pretend like Heather knows anything about this. She's just spitballing like she usually does. Is one love, brotherly love. Look at the person next to you when they're coming to you for help, guidance, advice, etc. Consider them yourself. Imagine your own face in their face. Imagine someone you love and care about. And speak to them and handle them in the way that you would want to be handled and spoken to. That doesn't mean label someone who's been abused and is reactively abusing back as a problem. That means zoom out and see the problem for what it really is. Did she say reactively abusing back? I've never heard that terminology before. Period. They're not even similar or, or similarly connected. Yeah, my abuse is okay, but the abuse happening to me is bad. My reactive abuse is justified. Okay, Instagram, stop shutting down my lives because now I'm on Facebook, who's owned by the same company. And uh, I'm going to say what I want and I'm going to do it anyways. But because I have, just like everyone else in the world, lost my temper, people are trying to say that I should not be speaking on this subject because I have been on caught on camera, that's what they call COVID, being rude and disrespectful to my assistant, Amy, Amy Bowling. What? Where did Amy come from? Amy, the one that stole your vibrator, who was also filming you when you were uh, smoking that blunt, telling us about, what did you tell the words of wisdom that were not words of wisdom, by the way? Uh, what the fuck does Amy have to do with anything? You're right. You're absolutely right. I was being raped at the time. I was being human trafficked at the time. I was being manipulated, coerced, and extorted at the time. I was trying to raise three children at the time. I was trying to run a business at the time. And I fucked up. I was rude and mean. You're right. How many times do I have to apologize for my weakened mental state while I was being sexually harassed and raped? What the fuck? I'm so confused right now. What does this have to do? How is any of this connected? She's mad that Instagram is limiting her lives, but she's also mad at Amy. And then she's also mad. She's just mad. She's just fucking mad about everything. You know, how many years do I have to spend in a tent to pay for being a bitch one time? I don't think that's why you're in the tent. It doesn't make sense. Who bought the tent, Heather? Did the tent just appear one day, you know? And did someone say, like, you better get in that fucking tent right now or else? Or, like, did you buy the tent? 
Did you pick out the spot where you're going to sleep in the tent? Like whose idea was the tent, you know? And I'm tired of being patient about it. And I'm tired of every single time that I have a half of a fucking breath of air to set this shit down and not be fucking carrying it everywhere. Someone finds a way to fuck it up on purpose with premeditation. What kind of a sad fucked up ass individual are you if you make it your mission to find people who are vibrating up here for the first time in god knows how long who you know have been sexually abused physically abused abused in so many ways and come up with a premeditated campaign to cause them additional harm where's the proof to any of that Where's the proof to any of that? And I, I, I don't see anything different happening today than any other day. If anything, today you had a win. It was nice weather and you picked up the travel system. So why are you so bitchy? You're just bitchy and doing this thing. Look at this thing. She's fucking, she's losing it. She's losing it. Show me your faces, please, please. Because we talk a lot in this country about what we don't want and what we do want. There's a lot of... <laughs> I don't even know. No, no there isn't. Gonna be like, There's a lot of homeless pregnant women who would have killed for a, a $200 traveling system. And someone actually donated the money for you to get it. And you're bitching about anything else you can think of right now. Um She's like the luckiest, most ungrateful homeless person there is look at the lights look he's got these lights but we never really consider what we want and how it affects the people who don't want it you have a problem that i'm in a tent why don't you call the, the mayor why don't you call the police why don't you be an advocate for me why don't you say i've been watching this girl's ftrs for three years now she's been publicly crying out for help for shelter saying um Help me, something corrupt and unlawful took place in 2019. There is, um, what is this, statute of limitations? And there's also just for, like, business in general. Like, okay, most of the time, like, if you have a problem on your bill or something, they'll go back three months. If the problem happened four months ago, we're not fixing it because you should have called in or what have you been doing? You know? So like Heather, it's been since 2019. What have you been doing? Like noth nothing's going to happen now. It's been too long. I was just sitting here yelling in the tent. Terrible. How? So the travel system is free. Like did someone just give it to them or did the city of Chicago pay for it? How is it free? Like I know she didn't have to pay for it, but I thought she said it cost 200 so I assume somebody um, donated it to her. I went to the court about it, and no one has helped me. As a matter of fact, they put me in the street where I have been fighting for my life ever since. Good night, Sun Queen. I have been raped several times. I have been robbed several times. I'm pregnant with my second pregnancy since being thrown in the street. The first one, I assume, was a result of sexual assault. Xavier says it was not. He says that he took some sort of stimulant that he never took before and that that's what made him last so long. All right. Well, then why don't you believe this? I don't remember feeling lucid and half asleep and waking up six or seven times from that lucid dizziness in my life to be having had sex with for six to eight hours. And that pregnancy of twins was the result of that six to seven hours of sex. The dates match up per perfectly. So at 18 weeks, six days, they kill my babies. I, I go into premature labor in an Airbnb after the Airbnb owner was telling us to leave because she was demanding an extra $150 for it. But then she lets you stay an extra two weeks for free. So that kind of contradicts itself. And also you already said that it was Xavier's nail that induced the labor. So then we have two contradicting things here. How there's doing the sympathy thing for donations. You already got $200 donations. Get the hell out of here. Somebody needs to go be a big bad wolf and blow her ten away. Xavier to be there. He's on the reservation. What do you mean? I shouldn't say that. I don't do. No one take that seriously. 
And then I have to post all my Airbnb reviews because every single host has been like, Heather's fucking amazing. One of the best guests we've ever had would have her back anytime. That fuck- and then this one was probably like, um, she like aborted her kids in our bathtub and then sent a video out to people and then hijacked her place for an extra two weeks. I can see how that one review would probably outweigh the thousands of positive reviews. What's up your supposed positive reviews your story doesn't it so it's like i'm over here defending myself to even smile for a few hours be able to call your phone 300 times in a day because their fucking sad miserable pathetic life is so meaningless that that's the only you know source of ex uh adrenaline or oxytocin or serotonin release that they can get and when we're identifying that that is what makes people happy those people need to be just you know what i mean that uh- Wow, well, what do you mean, Heather? What do you mean? Now though, my th- father, thank you for the five. You guys think Heather Coco Chanel YSL sleepwalks? She says they to herself, but everything she complains about has no proof or cooperation with the law. Um, so what I think, like, kind of, are you mean like a uh, Fight Club? Like when she's asleep, she's doing all this shit to herself. And then she wakes up. She's like, what is happening? Where are my things? And then she just misplaced it. Like her hat got stolen, stolen, but she found it like a day later. All her makeup gets stolen, but she finds it. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe she is like a fight club. Because continuing to allow that gene to take place, the gene that sees someone smile and decides, not only does that make me upset that you're smiling, but I'm also going to plan a whole entire coordinated effort to make you stop smiling. That shit is sick. That shit, that shit is sick. And if you want. And uh, no evidence of this. This is all just in my fucking head. I wouldn't even say like this is um, like I have. I don't care if Heather's smiling or crying or whatever. I care about the kids safety. So that's annoying that that's happening right now. But um, I'm more like an observer and I want to understand what's happening. So I'm not, I wouldn't encourage anyone like messing with her. Um, I don't, I don't understand where she's getting this coordinated attack from. I want to hear um, the professional version of all of my beliefs. Go right over to Gary V's page because literally I have never met a person in my life who thinks more similarly to the way that I think, whose message is closer to what I have been preaching nonstop on a recorded phone line since 2015 and we're in 2024 now. So that's nine years. I'm not saying he stole the ideas from me. I'm just saying I am not as refined business-wise as Gary Vee is. Gary Vee is a marketing guru. I started watching him when I started selling my own content in 2015 and needed to know, you know, better, how to market how to sell yeah yeah it would be crazy if you're actually claiming that gary v stole anything from you gary v like i don't know he's just outside one day he's like you know what that person in the tent i guess it would have been way before that but just could you imagine so he says things about morals and values and ethics and being a good person and doing this and doing that those belief systems that's how i was raised that's what i've been preaching this entire time How do you live by those belief systems and truly want well for someone when you can't even smile for two hours out of 10 weeks without them be 30, 30 at least missed calls from this unknown number in the last two days. And most of them are when I'm doing a live or, or shooting content. What's the reason for that? To to bug you. Cause you don't just put your phone on silent. How fucking miserable can you be? How many phones do you have? How many how many phones do you have, Heather? Just put the one that you're recording on on silent and then have the one that they're calling on free if you need to get phone calls in on it. Um, or just have it on silent, bro. Like, I've never seen you go longer than an hour, which is good because that would be too much, Heather. But just do that could be and am sad depressed scared anxious but i still find ways to fight to be happy that's when they come back that's when they come back 
who does that? Who lives in a way? That's when they, they, I would love, I would love to know just like her, her theory on they. And <laughs> Samantha, thank you for the super sticker. That they just wait around for someone to have a break from being tort interaction. My God, how did I get here? God, Jesus Christ, I am begging you right now. Please make it make sense. All these refugees are getting housing and funding. Oh I'm God, separated refugee, from my yeah. children who have lived with me full time wow. since the day of their births all the way through the time this targeting began. I have no home. I have no car. All of it has been robbed from me. Law enforcement has blatantly ignored me. Never once even called me back about any of these cases. Are we still praying to God or are we just back into our monologue here? I'm about to have a baby. And anytime I find peace or happiness or comfort in any small thing. So I was able to get the travel system from Target. I bought the travel system um, today and I was scared that I was going to go into labor before I had it. And I finally got it. And I'm smiling. Xavier and I have the radio. He's pushing me in a wheelchair because I can't even walk more than five blocks. I have the huge travel system on my lap with two bags of clothes for the baby. This is all for the baby. I've been ordering off of Amazon for three months. Baby stuff. And so make it look real believable. So when the baby gets taken, I can use it for all props. I think that's what she's going to do. Use it as props, right? You're like, look, this is supposed to be the baby's. Send me $20. Rather than letting me fucking smile and be happy, someone thinks that it's their job to just shit all over us. And I keep faith and I pray to God and say to God, God, I don't get it. I am so confused by this. What is going on here? And of course, the relationship with God is never that God just says, oh, Heather, well, I'm glad you asked. This is what, what does he say? Does he ever answer? This is what it is, X, Y, and Z. But I can't fucking take it anymore. You know, I, I really, truly cannot. And I shouldn't have to. And I want to press charges against everyone involved. I, I really do. I have the ability, the capacity, the intelligence to create a beautiful business. GoPro Solo has the potential to be incredibly profitable. I have been working that business, my business, since 2015. I have served many happy customers who have purchased content, clothing, curation, creative direction, sex, um, brand management, um, uh, trade show modeling, um, promotional efforts, uh, staffing, event staffing, bartending, all under the GoPro solo business name. She was bartending as GoPro solo and all that other shit. She was like, most people, my employers, call me Heather Gillespie. But today, you can call me GoPro Solo. My business. I have proven time and time again where I have been profitable and successful in doing so. I've held, prior to my self-employment endeavors, employment at Northwestern Hospital. Five to eight years with Northwestern Clisma, NMFF, um, Alexian Brothers Hospital, Parag Doshi's Cardiovascular Institute. I have such a solid history of work experience and moral and ethical compassing. There is no, there's nothing to say. Every bad thing that has happened in my life has come at the heels of the police entering my situation. Every oh, single thing. Wait, what? It's the police's fault now? When did it become the police's fault? I thought it was Dylan and the TV show's fault. We not we might have to take another smoke break. I I need one. Um, I don't think we go for this long. We I maybe we can get through. It. There's like ten minutes left of this. Four minutes left alive, and I want to show you guys the mouse hole. Every single thing. Why? I go to the police and say I've been raped. I need help, and they laugh at me. And then society supports me through that they they are there with me on a live feed watching that take place and they support me through that but then as soon as the police start to give me some sort of compassion or say she's right she should be receiving you know assistance with housing if we can house refugees why can't we house a, a united states citizen this wind is pretty crazy okay let me let me 
uh, I'll be super quick. I'm not going to get any puppy videos up. I took that down by mistake. Um, I'm just going to take me off. I got to bust something up real quick. Go wibbity wibbity woo and come back. I sh it shouldn't even be like two minutes. Um, sh like th two or three minutes would be that will be it. But yeah, no, my neck hurts and I need to smoke. Uh, I won't even put the quick smoke break out. I'll just put this on. All right, I'm back. Um, longer than I expected, actually. But, okay. Let's, ca let's cap this. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Then my entire online... Oh, yeah, she's angry. ...database of followers and uh, tapper inners, oh, they turn against me and start oh. saying, kill yourself. Your, oh. tooth, your tooth is ugly. You're a crackhead. No one loves you. No one wants you. Everyone will be better off when you're dead kill yourself bitch um reading writing a novel i'm almost to page 500 uh, in my own novel um making a coffee table book doing photo shoots curating modeling statement modeling hair makeup that's what i do what do you do that's right nothing but then you come into my comments and tell me to kill myself got it so I wanted really bad to just go on Instagram and do an, uh, an FTR because there's a lot of liability here. And for legal reasons, it would be great for me to have that on file. Uh, I attempted five times where I spoke about 10 minutes each time um, in a very organized way. And each time it was erased, someone hacked and it was libelous, very painful, damaging. The cuts are uh, her connection or something. 
things that people are saying and doing against me and be the bigger person. I'm, I'm, I'm a nice person. I'm not going back to these people's pages and doing the same thing back to them. I'm asking for accountability at a state and federal level of how myself, a fully intelligent and capable young woman, could be being and four years is way too much time for them to have had to resolve this. This is, I'm not a trainer. I'm not getting paid. I'm not, uh, I'm not a local government employee. I am a civilian for the millionth time. I have been used, abused, exploited, taken advantage of, and I'm tired. And I am pleased so that I can continue to launch my campaign, asking people for assistance, um, understanding, compassion, advocacy. I wonder if when Xavier's like trying to sleep and she's doing this, like he has dreams of just her cutting in and out and saying all this shit. Or if he just like, this is what he hears when he's not around her. Because this is all she says. Call your local law enforcement. Call your local mayors. Call your local governors. Call, call, call. Write letters. Write emails. Use my name. Please don't let me get lost. And what's going on are not right. I can't show the pictures of X again. YouTube didn't like that. <laughs> YouTube is like, um, yeah, no. Nah. I mean, like, they're in that one video. The video is still up. Like, it didn't go down, but they're like, naughty. I don't want to see any refugees without access to housing. I also don't want to see any natural born American citizens who have worked building this country, paying taxes in this country, and resided in this country their entire lives living out in the street. I want good things as candidates. And here's the thing, to be on the on the receiving end of a smear campaign like that, oh my God, 90% of it is not even true. How can we even communicate accurate information about our presidential candidates if we can't even get through the fucking fake news? The fake fucking news, oh my God. There's real problems here. What's happening in the fake news, Heather? What, what are you referencing specifically? I'm curious. If, if we don't have to wade through the tremendous shit pile that these people publish while not being arrested, criminally charged. Donald Trump said a quote. He was being interviewed, um, it, and it was like a Joe Biden, Donald Trump thing. So they were asking questions back and forth. I could debate. Okay. And they said to Donald Trump, what do you think about the war in Ukraine and Russia? And if you were elected president again tomorrow, whose side would you take and how would you go about handling the situation? And Donald Trump said, I would have the war articles that are not toilets. Oh, I really wish we could hear the end of some of these, but they, they skip into her other points. So it's kind of like a fever dream probably shouldn't have smoked right before this but what it's it's a uh... people are starving the war stopping prevents all of that Re there is no whose side would you be on the the war doing what prevents all that i missed that point there's no continue to do that while i'm doing this what is he doing? Fuck, I gotta put it back a little bit. Hold on. I wanna know what the war comment is, and then I gotta like jack up the volume for Xavier. I wanna know what he said. I wanna know I wanna know what he's doing. So they were asking questions back and forth. And they said to Donald Trump, What do you think about the war in Ukraine and Russia? And if you were elected president again tomorrow, whose side would you take and how would you go about handling the situation? And Donald Trump said, I would have the war articles that are not toilets. Goals that are not toilets. Because uh, we, So we didn't get to hear um, Donald Trump's answer to the war. And that when it cuts back in, it's something about toilets. So I'm not too sure what she said about toilets. People are starving. Starving. The war stopping prevents all of that. People are starving. The war stopping prevents all that. That, that was her point. 
there is no whose side would you be on. There's no continue to do that while I'm doing this. I think he said I'm rolling a blunt, though. That might be my selective hearing. I don't care. Do you think that I want to be on a live feed with nothing but a Bic being flipped over and over and over and over and over? Like, I'm already getting fucked with online and distracted and trying to make points and document all this shit because I've already gone through all of this. I mean, I don't give a fuck how many people are here. Clearly not. If you've already been through all this, why do we need to go through it? one more time why is this one more time so important i here's the thing about me i'm not using this so that people can be like oh my god look what heather said or did i'm using this so that i can remember everything that i'm owed money for Every how much money is it now remember it was 12 million dollars now although my father thank you for the two dollar super sticker every day of this that I document after having reported this to the FBI and law enforcement no less than hundreds of times has a dollar amount associated with it. So you could say, why is she putting this online? Because I don't have a fucking take it anymore. I feel like I'm surrounded with losers um, who cannot stand to see a person do anything for themselves and in turn attacks the person who's making any progress or headway there we go. Yeah. um i know that sounds harsh that's the unrefined capacity um and those those outlets and moments for happiness don't serve as doors to be opened for harassment i want to understand why the rules that seem to apply to the entire community don't apply to me in the sense of if i say or do something i am immediately removed immediately but I sit in a, in a room giving updates regarding very sensitive and serious topics. This is not a room. This is not a room. There's no ceiling. There's no doors. There's no walls. It's a tent. It's fabric. It's weird that she calls it a room and refers to the things like that. Actual assault being held. These are, these are not topics that are funny. Human trafficking, being held down and raped, being deprived. No, none of these things are funny, but they're also, they shouldn't be stories made up to make people feel bad for money. That's like, I'm pretty sure that's like a scam. Definitely a grift. So when, this is great for the prosecution because when you're going through my live feeds and you think, wow, Heather is terrible at doing lives or wow, she should not be on camera. And I'm still able to communicate what I've been able to communicate. So to be quite truthful, I really don't know. And I have ADHD and I'm unmedicated and pregnant. So for every fucking negative thing that there is to say about me, um, there are about 500 positive things. Wow. Okay. I mean, I can think of a lot of negative things. So that is a damn crazy amount of positive. And I you know, rest up, refined an edited version of the truth of a perspective of the truth when you're sitting down and having a conversation with a person on a lot to hop off right now i'm so irritated you have no idea as i said before just being away from all of this drama was fabulous you know what's even more fabulous being able to log on to my social media accounts um but i i've always been more of an iphone girl always i have a million iclouds with a whole bunch of saved content that will forever be there forever Thank God. Mm. And I literally took a, a job, like a, a gig, clean for a man who was presenting him. It took me about six hours to clean the entire thing. I don't know what you're talking. Heather, girl, you got to stop. You got to stop this. <laughs> this is some crazy shit. I had to, I had to fill the entire thing with uh, scrubbing bubbles leave it for about an hour, scrub it all off, go back in again with scrubbing bubbles again, let it soak again. I went to sleep, slept two or three hours, went back at it again, used bleach, scrubbing bubbles. Um, I was also using some sort of... I, I would help you any day, Skeleton. With, with the Google, yeah, I can help you with the Google. Medical grade 
um, sanitize this that have been taking place since all of this began in 2019 that all go into that dollar amount being at, at this point almost $60 million. And that's in um, emotional distress, damages from being battered, damages from being Batteram. being bludgeoned, damages to my vehicle, the entire vehicle being destroyed two months after I paid for it. That's for having thousands of dollars of cash stolen from me. That's for having multiple uh, bank accounts and, and various other accounts hacked and either shut down with balances. Yeah, these guys aren't tricksters. They wouldn't. They wouldn't lie to us. In them, including an OF um, that was non-sexual in nature, just a little bit, you know, too... I wouldn't want to release webisodes on YouTube that were, you know, they were, they were a little more on the mature side. So that'll be that. Um, this is a, a perfect example of how four years in, I'm still being um, harassed and fucked with and treated in a way that is in, inhumane um, and substandard for anyone, let alone a woman who's about to give birth to a baby next week. This is fucking disgusting. Wolstein refers to as my period in the weight room to end, which means that you know what, what you're worth, you know what your value is, you know what you're capable of. Um, uh... I thought she meant like her menstrual cycle period to end in the waiting room, but she just means like your period in the waiting room, like the period of time being in the waiting room to end. But it's hard to make out what the fuck she means because I'll bury that. You're just, you're just waiting in the wait room for your opportunity. So I, I'm trying to stay positive. It is incredibly frustrating. She do you know why I make notes of myself hysterical and freaking out? Most people hide it when they get hysterical and freak out. You could just like record it privately. If you wanted to upload it after, no one could interrupt it. You could just turn your phone aside. There's so many solutions. Heather is just a difficult creature. I make a note of it so that because you don't get hysterical and freak out for no reason, right? Who here gets hysterical? Hysterical and freaks out for no reason. You're sitting there, you're happy, you're in a good place, and then you just decide, you know what, fuck this. Oh my God, help, help. I do that all the time. I do that all the time. You guys just don't see it. But it's a pretty fun thing to do. No one does. Nobody. So when I record myself in that moment, feeling that emotion, it is. that is why I create videos of myself speaking exactly as I feel in those moments. Those are messages to my future self. They're not messages to any fucking nefarious hacker in my phone, um, you know, obstructing my justice or stealing my intellectual property. So to all of you who are here with good intentions, I swear to God, I want the world for you. I hope you all get mansions. I hope every fucking one of you wins the lottery or influencer or documenter or reporter or whatever you want to refer to me as. You don't even have to like me. Just if you do anything in this world other than drag and bring people down intentionally i'm not talking about a depressive intentionally i want nothing but everything for you all of the good things every single one of you for all of the rest of you i am still learning how to so you guys have a great day um i'm sorry about that i'm so fucking irritated i just we go through so much we go through so much to get the little that we do to let us be happy with it for an hour like that's ridiculous. Just get out of my way. Just get out of my way. I don't even understand. So, like, you're happy, but now you're not happy because you can't complain on live stream about how you're not happy? Because that's what it, it seems like. I thought that's what the FTRs were for. Yeah, Heather is, uh... I don't, I don't know what the fuck, man. Um, was this the end? Let's see. This is the end. Yeah, that's the end. Four seconds left. Does she say one final word? Yeah. 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 I mean, that was something. All right. Uh, yeah. Out of the way. <laughs> She's in her own way. Uh, what a woman. What a woman. All right. You guys want to see the mouse hole before we finish up the stories? Um, so this is the tick, the ticket talkie, the ticket talk live. Uh, let me get the controls pulled up here. Let me find. The part I'm trying to find the part with the. Uh... 
She shows the mouse hole. I can't remember when. And the skipping through on this is not the best. So I might be like, if you guys want to see the mouse hole. Well, it's definitely before this. I thought it was within like the first few minutes here. Um, do you guys remember when it was? Hey. Is it this, it's like Blue's Clues. You guys got to help me. I don't remember when she sewed the mouse hole. There's a mouse hole, though. If you check out the video, I think it's named like Heather's Crazy Hour Live. Um, she's making a weird face in it. Shows it in that. But we don't have time to watch an hour stream to find the mouse hole. I thought it... Oh, wait, was that it? Hold on, this might be it. That little Coleman sign that you see? That, that, so there's three tarps. So there's... Nah, she's talking about the tarps. Hold on, let's put it back a little bit. Going on and off, we're screaming. He's trying to get my mace. <laughs> All right, well, this part, actually, I wanted to show you guys this part, too. So this actually works. I don't know if they're going to show the, the whole... Hopefully they throw the hole. He's trying to get my mace out of my purse. Why are you doing that? Oh, okay. Thank you. Dude. Can, okay. I'm like, get it out. Get it out. He's looking for mace in my bag. What is your plan here? We are in a tent. So there's no ventilation because it's we're in Chicago. It's freezing. So we literally have this tarp that you guys can see here. That's like the dirty tarp. But I mean, like, that's pretty much it. She, Xavier was going to mace the fucking mouse, which is insane. Um, so it should be like three minutes before this, actually. The technology and the resources to put every single one of them in their own home. But we don't. It's fucked. It's sick. It's, it's fucked. It's so sick. Um... The amount of money. Xavier goes, I'm like, get it. Mouse broke into our tent. I'll show them. Babe, show them the hole. All right. Yeah, see this? So this is the hair dryer. The beautiful hair dryer. This is the mouse hole. So this is where the mouse has been coming in, causing a ruckus and making Heather very upsetty spaghetti. Faselli. Can you guys see that? So I'm I'm afraid of mice. Like, you don't understand. I know that sounds weird and funny. Mice and fish, I'm afraid of both of them. Mice and fish. So if you guys want to see this whole live, it's just it's like the mouse comes in. We already heard her talking about the mouse before. It's based, it's part of the same shit. And fish, I, that's a really weird thing to be scared of fish. I could understand, like, maybe an octopus. Octopuses are freaky. Or maybe a certain kind of fish. Um, but like just fish in general, fish or what could a fish do? It's like, I'm scared of ladybugs. Okay. That's, it's pretty crazy. Um, all right. Where is, where, where, where do we start? Here we are. So we're going back, back to where we started, but this will be the end. This is the last, uh, four minutes, five minutes of her stories. This was right after the lives. And when I'm documenting all of the fucked up things that are going on and trying to leave them in a place where I can remember and have them organized, people are working equally as hard to not allow that to take place. Um, as I said, I just jumped on another live. I said three mean comments, very similar to ones that I've received by the tens or hundreds of thousands. What do you think the mean comments were? I mean, like there she was ranting about immigrants and just like the usual. I thought it was pretty much business as usual, just louder. In the last four years, they immediately removed me from the live and kicked me out and, and issued me a warning. Yet these people are allowed to just rip into me, you know, whenever they feel like it. And I want to press charges against everyone involved. Whatever changes um, to cause literally every sense of stability um, to be found anywhere near us, to be destroyed with for no rhyme or reason, um, can we identify that? Because I'm sitting right now in a tent that is not the tent I purchased. I just double checked as to what tent I purchased. The tent I purchased, we could stand up in. 
Is this where the the tent is now smaller? Stand up it. I bought it. I have the receipt. How the fuck are we sitting in a tent with all of our stuff in it that looks like our tent got its legs chopped off? What the fuck goes on? What goes on, Heather? I don't know. How are you like erecting the tent? What are you? Did you grow? Did you grow taller? Like darker reflected when he worked out? I thought she meant like she's just getting fatter. Like there's not enough room in the tent. This is even weirder. I didn't know she meant like it got shorter. She's getting taller. What is happening? What goes on? I'm exhausted. Fake fucking Xavier that acts like a two-year-old and throws tantrum just back. What has been this whole day with you, Heather, if not a tantrum? Uh, who also wears pearls in their hair. <clears throat> I want to remove them for life. And Disney princesses, as they would be in modern day society, dating men who in conversation with others, refer to themselves as princes and kings. So tired. What the fuck is she talking? I have no idea what she means, but I, I, I don't know. I'm not trying to figure it out. For the record, I've never agreed to be part of any studies, TV shows. Well, you did agree to be on Love After Lockup. Social experiments. Nothing at all. That is that this is my real life. I'm one week from my due date and I am being harassed and tormented and it needs to stop right now there's one thing i had to rewind it like four times to make sure that i was actually hearing it right she was like no one's been harassing us for eight weeks so i know something is up and now people are harassing her again but i swear to god over the past eight weeks she's like people are harassing us so i don't know what the hell she's on but i think she's just high sometimes that you guys have no idea it's like if i'm not giving them the emotional response that they want they harm me if i'm not sad they give me a reason to be sadder if i am feeling you know any anything that doesn't go along with whatever false narrative they're perpetuating that week they just poke and prod until they get whatever emotional response they're looking for i can't handle this anymore so just to be sure i have no sponsors left everyone who's been here this whole entire time the sponsors quit I don't know who the sponsors are, but the sponsors quit. Supporting us and helping us. You guys are all gone, right? Because there's really no other way to explain how the fuck I'm being treated like. I can't think of a word to describe it. Um, if I still had sponsors, I don't think that I would be being treated this way. So what's going on? Am I boxed in again? Am I tech boxed in again? Did they? Uh -oh, the tech box, the tech bubble box, the bubble tech box kill all of my sponsors what the fuck is going on kill them she thinks like sponsors are dead and they're attempting to scapegoat me calling me with a whole bunch of phone numbers that i don't know they don't even say anything they don't record a name um as soon as i pick up they either hang up or they just wait on the line for a little bit to make it my flock how you doing my flock made the thumbnail for tonight the fancy one a connection with that number on my call log um and then they hang up I'm tired of being involved in this, whatever the fuck this is. I have a whole entire life that I should be living with my children and my family. Um, definitely, there's no reason for me to be being held in a tent, sleeping on uneven wooden boards. They won't let me go, you know? And literally the only thing worse than what's going on is the fact that it's been going on for so long. Thank you, uh, Water Down Tea. I have been putting a bunch of them out. So, um, because they, 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 they say that if I do that, I'll bring in more people who might like see the live streams and stuff. So, I don't know if it's working. Maybe it's working. It seems to be about the same numbers that we usually pull in, but um, I'm glad you're liking them. There are hundreds of thousands of people probably by this point, if not tens of thousands at the very least, who know exactly what the fuck is going on. They know who's responsible for it. They know why they're doing it, how they're doing it, what's going to happen. And they don't do shit. They just continue to let them do it. So. It's sick. Belmont Yacht Club. No one's here. It's February. 
February 9th in Chicago. Beaumont, yeah, Cub, that's it. So I guess that's where she's been chilling. All of a sudden, there's 70 to 100 fucking people, like actors surrounding me, playing volleyball. It's February 9th. Wait, what is happening? On Lakeshore Drive in the winter of Chicago. And you don't want me to feel as though this is curated and fake as fuck? There's 70 people playing volleyball? What the, what the, oh my God. Okay. Sponsors are gone. People are playing volleyball on the streets. That's how it ends. That was the last thing that I got from her. Okay. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Who would have the money or time to hire 70 people to play volleyball just to annoy Heather? What did that even do to her? Nothing. Uh, yeah. How nefarious. How nefarious. All right, guys. It is one in the morning. We almost went three hours. I thought we would be like two hours good. Thank God I did that other one, that hour one, uh, earlier this week, or else we would have been here for fucking ever. Um, but it is 1 a.m. I My eyes are blue, so I got to go to bed. But I appreciate you all. Um, for everyone who donated, not without my father, um, Samantha... Uh, not without my father again. Everyone who became um, members tonight, as well as um, Katie. Did I get this one? I think I did get this one because I, I, I can't read. Not without my father again, Bulldog Mama, um, Chrissy, and yeah, the members that joined. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. I appreciate everyone else as well, but I super appreciate you guys. And I will see you. I don't know if I'll be around tomorrow. I've been taking Saturdays off, so I might take tomorrow off. I'm not sure. Chrissy, Chrissy, you have to do that. Thank you for the five. Uh, thank you so much for the live stream, Steve and fam. Love you guys. I love you guys too. You guys are really the most chill um, audience, I guess I'd say, that I've uh, had on my some years on YouTube. Um, so it's wholesome. It's wholesome. It warms my heart. Um, you guys are amazing. And yeah, if I'm not around tomorrow, uh, like tomorrow I might do like maybe a members only stream, but I'll be back Sunday with James Soroka. I don't know what he's um, doing in the past. <laughs> maybe he'll come back in the future. I, don't know, I doubt it, but um, yeah, it'll be him. Um, so yeah, have a great night, guys. Have a great weekend and I will see you all then. Goodbye.